but sooner than it should have. Oh, it's okay. I got lots to do. And I know we got a lot to do. <laughs> we got a lot to do, and this one here will go longer than the one hour that oh, normally yeah. goes. Yep, I'm over here cutting out my pattern. Welcome to Thursday night glass class. Something we're just doing just for fun. Hello, Mary. Hi, Mary. What are you doing? I need a computer. Oh, okay. That's what I'm doing. Do you want the spot? Uh, no, you can sit okay. in that spot. I'm good. Actually, I hit the live button earlier than I should have. I accidentally hit it, and we were still trying to get ready. <laughs> I was just cutting out pattern. I was trying to get ready, and I was like, oh, crap, I hit the button. I'm over here cutting out the pattern for the maple leaf. Oh. This is an easy pattern. Yeah, so it's Very nice. beginner. So for anybody that's interested in doing glass, this is a very good beginner piece. You don't have to talk to me like I'm a baby. <laughs> hey, Mary. Hello, Mary. She's the only one I see. We're still, because we're actually, we're early. We're early. People are looking for us to come on at 6 o'clock and early. I accidentally hit the early button. That's a first. We're usually late. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I know. I was like, oh, crap, hit the button. Oh, well. It is what it we is. We are running a little late because I actually had to go down to the uh, other studio and yep. my mom's at the farm and get the glass for the, glass the, for the maple leaf because I leaf. didn't have any of it here. Nope, I didn't. thought I did, but I didn't. Nope. I went through all my glass today. I have not, even the stuff that was in the garage and got it all, we got it all down here now mm. into the basement oh. studio. This is the basement studio. We have the farm studio. It's where I work most of the time. Is at the farm. Crap, I can't get the picture off there because I might have to. Oh well. Oh. What? Holy oh, crap. That top was still turned on. Oh, uh, yeah, because I was on it earlier. Checking. Oh, okay. Checking things. Alrighty. Finding out the status of stuff. Yeah. I haven't seen no updates on it. Mm, let me cut out this pattern. Figured I could at least have that much pre cut, but we're already on. I won't be able to see the chat because I will be yeah. extremely busy. Sorry if I can't answer your questions. John's going to have to field me questions, as I mean, it were. Yep. Any questions, I will be trying to fill you in on. Do you have any I questions? Sure will. Throughout this process, yep, it's we're going to do it start to finish. Well, I've already resized my pattern and got it to, this is about a six-inch maple leaf. Here. We've done smaller ones. This is like the mid-sized one. We've done a small one, a medium one, and a larger one. And you can actually hang these in different sizes and different colors together in your window. Um, you can also hang them like on a mobile or off of a piece of wire. There's lots of things you can do with these little leaves. You can even make other types of leaves, not just maple leaves, if you want multiple leaves. But here, is our pattern right there. It's only seven pieces. You got a stem and then the different parts there. You could actually, if you really wanted to, you could add wire work in it to make it more fancy if you really wanted to. But we're just gonna keep it very simple and basic. Yeah, YouTube is not putting up thumbnails again. No? Okay. So I'm trying to find the maple leaf that we've already done here. And here's my pieces all cut out. 
Control. Maybe we should. Maybe I should wait a little bit before I start everything. Cause yeah, cause we're early. We're so a little early. Just hold on. <laughs> just get stuff. Finish get stuff situated. Okay. There it is. Here's this lovely glass. It's really stuff. pretty stuff. So, like I said, I accidentally hit the dang on go by button before we should have. It's variegated. So it's really pretty. Videos. Live streams. I'm going to look at it see what I want. Where I want to put my pattern pieces. I kind of like this piece down in here. But I also kind of like this stuff up here, this dark stuff. I also have a lot of scrap and I'm going to try to get some stuff out of the scrap pieces. They're nice and dark too. Yep, they are. <clears throat> i got my light box over there. Alrighty. Well, that goes up and down this way. That goes side to side. Oh, now that's a really pretty piece right there. It's got a lot of the greens in there. Real pretty. Okay, uh, okay, it's got it up there. Uh, that one's real red. This here. Oh, turn that down. Give me a chance, woman. <laughs> I want to see if I can get most of this out of this scrap. You got showing people <clears throat> all your nastiness over there at your table. Oh, sorry. <laughs> That's the basement. Yeah, the basement wall. That's not pretty. But, you know, it's a glass studio, so it's dirty. Yeah, it ain't going to be knitting sparkly. <clears throat> no, not in a basement anyway. Okay, so this is my 4-5. That goes together. I'm going to try Carla. to pull that out of that. Hi, Carla. Welcome, welcome. I know I have some brown in here. I need to find a piece of brown. Why don't you just lay it all out on your light box where you can see it? There's brown. That's not big enough though. Hmm. I like to use scrap for these if I can. Oh, I know what I did with that piece of brown. It's in this box. Okay, I have all these nice little boxes full of scrap. Having this piece of the box. Oh no, that's not the right box. It's, it's I thought about making the maple leaf out of this beautiful red color. I mean, oops. There we go. Thinking about, you know, that would be a pretty maple leaf as well. Oh, thank you, Lily. Hi. <laughs> now, we got this pretty red. But I think I'm going to do the, my traditional maple leaf for this one, just like the, the one we have upstairs. Yeah. I, I do like the one upstairs. That's kind of, that's kind of the... Uh, well, this has got some really pretty color to it. Oops, that's actually the know. thing on thumbnail that I put up, but it ain't showing the thumbnail, so I don't know what's going on. YouTube is acting goofy with thumbnails <laughs> on your phone. When you go on your phone, YouTube will not upload a thumbnail. Really? No, they won't do it oh, anymore. Well. The only thing they upload is your banner off your page. Ah, uh, oh well. Hello, Lily. Hi. Still patiently looking for the right colored brown. For the stem for this pretty little leaf. Be careful, don't go digging in there with no thing on gloves on. I don't know. Ooh, there's some really nice dark stuff right here. I if you're not already subscribed and you're in here, please go ahead and hit that subscribe button and ring that bell. We we'll do this every other Thursday. We're going to try to do this every other Thursday. Every other Thursday. Unless something happens. Unless something happens, that'll be. You can't make it. Once. A month. Yep. Yeah, during the holidays, it might only be once a month. <laughs> because they, things get busy with orders. 
And it's not going to be making something every time. It might be, oh, there's nice brown. It might be uh, drawing out patterns. Yeah, how to draw out a pattern or... I might actually do one, like a custom how to, pattern. How to how to use uh, lid or zinc came or how to frame oh, a how to panel. frame a panel, yes. We could do how to frame you know, a panel in like zinc. That. I'm learning more about Hobby Came. I've not played around with it very much, no. but I am. I've had some questions about Hobby Came. Yeah, which you have. And well, so you gotta, I kind of you got to... yourself zoomed in there, don't you? Oh, zoom me out a little bit. I did. I zoomed you out a lot. Okay. I'm gonna go ahead there and glue this piece down. I think this will be fine. Well, when you glue it down, I'll go ahead and I'll go ahead and cut. Oh, you're gonna cut for me? Wow. I figured, I, I figured you get stuff done. I'll go ahead and cut. And... Okay. As I glue? Well, when you get stuff glued down, I will cut. And once I start getting pieces cut, and you can start grinding pieces. Yep. Yeah. Like That's I say, good. I don't want this to be in no three-hour live stream. <laughs> there we go. I'm just lining this up with the grain. You see my arrows that I put on to my pattern pieces? I want the grain to run the same direction as my arrows. And I don't have any kind of light to show behind it either, so. Hmm. Is that the stem? Yep. You give me that so I can mark it. So once you glue your pattern piece down, I'm just using a washable school glue stick glue stick sticking the pattern pieces down because you're gonna have to take them off after you get get everything ground out hello lily hi lily collins hello give me that piece there so i can okay john's gonna go ahead it. and mark it he's gonna trace around i it. hate the silver markers because a lot of times silver markers don't you can even go wanna... ahead and lay it down dear there we go he's well, just tracing around yeah well, silver markers are a pain in the rear end anyway. They don't. Sometimes they want to mark, and other times they don't. Sometimes you got to use the side of them. Sometimes you got to use a point. And you got to twist them as you're going. <laughs> They're, I don't like silver. I just don't. This box here contains oh, all man, this glass. This is Kokomo opalescent glass. Uh, that What's might... wrong? See, see where that's at? Yeah. It's right on the back side of that indent. Oh. Well, so maybe all you it'll do break, is try maybe it won't. It <laughs> might break right, it might, it might not, not break. break at all. It might break right at Oh man, my, my wheel. My wheel is stuck. Uh oh. We ain't gonna do that. We don't have a cutter. There's this one. I got my. This is my uh, okay. my Toyo it's, cutter. It's this is a glass cutter. It has a little wheel on yeah, here that goes round and round. This little disc, and it scores the glass. Yep. And then it, you break it. That's what I'm using. I like this one here. I don't like that this one. This one's a little smaller. It's, no, that one there is actually longer. Are they? No, it's are it's the, not as wide. It the grip. Grips. The grips are different. Yeah. See what I mean? I know, but this grips. one fits my hand better. But I have this little this bit one smaller here fits hand. My hand better. There's a piece I'm cutting. And you put a little bit of cutting oil on there to keep yep. your wheel going. That's what we got right here in this little jar. And then you got your breaking pliers. And you got your running pliers, which I do like the running pliers. And these here, they, they got a little screw right here so you can adjust the jaws on them. Ever how far you want them open or closed. You can see how they're opening right there. The more you screw it in, the wider they open. The less you screw it in, the less they open. You just want to, me, I just want to screw it in just a little bit. 
then they, I don't know if you can see that, but there's a mark on the, there you go. You can see the little line. You want to, you want to, uh, have that line there line up with the line that you just made on your glass and you put it on there and you squeeze and it breaks it. Sometimes when you got a curve, I do them like that. That way it breaks the curve out better, easier, so you don't break the, so the glass don't break in the wrong spot. Mm -hmm. And I like to use two pairs of pliers when I'm cutting, so that way it, I don't, I don't slip and cut myself. And if you guys stay till the end, this glass piece will be given away at the end of the live stream. Yep. We will be giving this piece away at the end of the live stream. We will tell you a certain word to put in when we get ready to give it yep. away. And, and we'll pick. Can you we'll do that with it being on the here? Yep. Okay. Now all I gotta do is go on the uh, laptop and do that word picker or whatever. Uh-huh. And put in the URL from that and then it'll pick it off of that. Oh, okay. I didn't know that. Yep. Sorry guys if we're not paying mm -hmm. attention to you. <clears throat> Let's see what we got here. This is kind of pretty. There, that's the stem. Actually, you got one already. Right, you got one. Hmm? You got one take down or uh, tack down. What? Pattern. Yes, right there. It's already on the board. See, we use uh, that's our pattern we a, we... is set down on a uh, hemisote board. Well, and actually, this is actually this, a ceiling tile. This is actually a ceiling tile. Which, for sun catchers. Which we do have right over here in the, in the in Armstrong the box. box. Yeah. We got quite a few of them. We bought a box of ceiling tiles. No, we, I, we didn't buy them. We got them given to us. I well, think. no, they were at my dad's. Oh, okay. <laughs> they were leftovers. But anyway, that there's how we do it. We put that on there and then we get done cutting. We just match this here up with that piece and keep laying them on there. Yep. And then as I grind, I pin it down to that. Yep. And then I also foil to that. So what John is using over here <laughs> is a, a cutter, glass cutter. We already told him all about our cutters and our breaking There's pliers. There's oil. We keep things. this inside of like the old baby, baby food jar. Just soak a cloth in cutting oil. Then we use these. These are what we... Used to uh, take off little pieces of glass. They're breaking pliers. They're grosiers. They're actually grosiers. Grosier pliers. The name is grosier pliers. Yep. If you want to look them up. And these are your running pliers. Yeah. And you have a little line on there to match up to the score that you mark on the glass. And then you just squeeze it between. it. They're kind of offset. See how there's a little bend in there? And they just break the glass right along your score. Hey, there's that freaking... Oh, yeah. My only problem with full-time RV life is no room for crafts. Yeah. There's that fly killer I needed just a minute ago. Oh. It's down here. We had a freaking oh, nest flying of flying ants. ants just hatched out. We left yeah. here to go get the glass from down there at the other shop. And they weren't like that. We come back home and there's ants all over the freaking porch oh, coming up out of the ground. And like, oh, like, holy gosh. crap. We just left and come Yeah, back they weren't all like that. Okay. You know, get a little dust pan and everything. That way you keep the glass shards at a minimum on your uh -huh. cutting 
surface. That way you don't pick something up and get a glass sliver in your finger because it does no, hurt. No, that's not pleasant at all. No, it is not. Oh, I just freaking threw it all over the floor. I'm trying to go right into the garbage can and went right on the floor instead. All right, so I'm matching up the glass here. Got my piece number six. See my arrow? And I got the glass here, so I'm going to place this one. You can kind of see the, the lines in here. I'm going to place that right up against there. And then glue it down right in there. You know what we need, though? What? We need to get a photography box. Why is that? A box that, like, oh, the, the box that you put your stuff in and take pictures of it inside the box. Let's, oh, okay. You know what I'm talking about? Why? Because if we go to sell something, it'd be easier to hang it up in that box and take a picture of it. And we oh, got light all the way around true. it and through it. That's true. Instead of trying to finagle, trying to hold it up to the light. And that a, would be kind of neat. Taking a bunch of different pictures. Yeah. We did apply for our monetization. Yes, we did. We are in the second stage of it. Yep. Of approval. So, they said it could take up to a month. Yeah, total. Total. Here, zoom y'all back so out waiting. that way you can see what's going Hopefully on. Hopefully, we'll hear something in next week. We will be having a monetization party when that happens, and we will have an awesome giveaway. It's going to be at least one custom stained glass giveaway. Yep. We got some other things we're going to be giving away, putting on a wheel or whatever, how we do it. Mm -hmm. Then Mary Jones is going to be donating something, and then... D. Cobb is yeah. donating as well. Pass that to John. He can trace oh, out. Okay, you don't need this glass for another piece? Nope, nope. not no, right now. Want, want a more fit on it? Nope, it won't fit. It won't fit, it won't fit. Oh, no, I'm sorry, guys. Keep zooming you in and out. Zoom you out when I got to. Zoom you in when I do. That ain't going to fit on there. I'll have to let you cut that one out, too. It said make one out of white cardboard. Huh? Oh, oh the, uh, okay. yeah, kind of like a... Uh, Construction paper, maybe. Mm-hmm. Probably do so these that. These pieces are all too small to work with. I'll just make a small, couple small. I'm just letting you know you're not getting your own pieces glued down all the way. I I am gluing them all the way, so I don't know. You're just pressing on them too hard. Dear, it was sticking up. It came up when I oh. marked it. So evidently that piece did not get no glue on it. It did. Okay. It's got plenty of glue on it. All right. Well, maybe the glass needed to be washed before we started possibility some it, that stuff was kind of dirty okay hey guys what do you guys think should i make these top part pieces dark or light should i go with this stuff side over here and make it more green and orange and, and red green orange and red is number one yeah Just type in a right one. in there one if you want that side with the green orange and red or if you want the dark side over here number two Hey, Wandering Wiley. Wandering Wiley, hello. Welcome to our Thirsty Night Glass class. <laughs> Go ahead and lay this down here and glue the back side of this down. You got a one so far. A one? Okay. Well, that would make a good variation since I'm doing the both the side pieces dark. We can have a little dark, lighter pieces on top. Hey, Lily. This is, I'd love to watch you uh, work with glass. That's really pretty. Number one. Got two votes for number one. Two votes for number one. Okay. Looking like number one might be the side to go with. That would be kind of pretty. Half the time of doing glass, sometimes it takes it me hours the glass. to choose the right glass. The right especially glass. when you have multiple colors in like a dog and, or a horse. And you're trying to get that certain look. It can take me a whole day just to pick out the glass. Yep, it can. <laughs> Just one whole day picking glass. Okay, I'm going to take a look at this dark section here in a second. Which one do I want to go with? 
Uh, Number one was a light good. section. Yeah, I know, but I have one more dark leaf oh, okay. to put in. I think I will go with... Mm. I know I just, I know I scored that, didn't I? Hmm? What? That's how I didn't score it. down so John's cutting for me tonight I don't mind cutting John does a lot of cutting he's a good fast cutter four for number one thank you Mary for tallying <laughs> yeah, like I say when we're doing glass it's hard to watch the chat and work at the same time it's hard to time. watch the chat so I'm wonder, wondering why I knows all about working and paying attention and trying to film it's yeah, not the it's, easiest thing no. to do but like I said we use a pit we use pistol grip cutters we also have uh, this type of cutter which is a pet like a pencil grip cutter so that's also another kind of glass cutter kind of dark down here tonight I got all the lights that I have turned on down down here or no, on we do have work light I could but this one you use it kind of like a pencil oh, and you pull it or push it out. along the glass to score it oh, man, this one you hold it yeah, like that and you kind of push it along screwdriver and there ain't one down here Real tiny screwdriver. Tiny screwdriver? There ain't one down here. Oh, what do you need it for? Oh. The thing right here is. Oh, okay. Getting loose. <clears throat> yeah, there's little screws inside the cutter, cutter heads, and they sometimes come loose or get too tight where the head won't swivel on the cutter, or it swivels too much and wants to fall off. Yeah, Phillips. I thought I had one. I thought I had a small one down here, but I don't. Uh, check over in my stuff on the workbench over there. By my soldering stuff. There's a couple screwdrivers in the caddies that are over there. Yeah, there ain't none that small. Okay. Need to get a tiny set down here. I, I know. I thought I had one down here. I really did. Mary said she liked using the pencil one. <laughs> pencil gripper. Yep. Yeah, I don't, I don't care for the pencil grip. I haven't, I haven't uh, used it enough to get a good enough idea if I like it or not. I wonder why I wasn't tightened up. I was loosening it. Oh. I was turning it the wrong way. Oh, boy. Yeah, that's all right. It's good now. This one here, that's really good. I got a new one down there at the main shop. It's because this at one this here kept farm. getting loose. The farm studio. This is our basement studio. Yeah. This is our secondary studio. Though we don't have very good, we don't have good signal down there. We've gone no, live down there once. We tried. And we didn't do so great with the signal. My mom's got Wi-Fi, but it's not unlimited. It's supposed to be, but it ain't. It's not. She's got like a hot spot. Yeah. Because you're out in the middle of nowhere, yep. you kind of have to deal with the crappy internet service out there. Yeah, That's and they don't, and they do not offer any better internet no, service either. Nobody does out there. out there in the middle of nowhere. Oh, this one's gonna be beautiful. Oh, it's gonna be pretty. I didn't, I didn't put that. No, you didn't put it right. You yeah. know what? I like it that way though. Oh well, no. Well, it's not, not right. Okay, I'm not gonna really get that then. Oh well, yeah. No, no, I'm not. Darn it. Let's see, maybe I'll. Yeah, we will maybe. have a chance to win. Sure will. Share us out on all your social media. Give your friends a chance. Don't be greedy. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to go ahead and. And also, I found too, if you use the oil more, it's a lot easier to break the pieces. They seem to score better. They, score they seem better. to break cleaner. That's just my opinion. That's what I've found. Mm 
And I'm not using two pairs of pliers for this here because this piece here is a little bit bigger. And that piece there would be cut out with a saw, but I do not have the yeah, saw. Yeah, I cut my finger the other day right across mm. right there. It's all healed up now. It, it is easy to do. A little bit there. You can barely see it. I don't think it's bright enough, but I did cut and my it's... finger right in there. And uh, it's because I wasn't using the two no, breaking, the two grosiers. I do have a saw over there, but I don't have the dang on. It's not working. You don't have the water in it. Don't it has work. a new belt. I know. We don't need to saw anything no. on this. This is a basic. Anybody well, this can one do here, it without a saw. You're going to have to grind a little more than normal. Yeah, I'll have to do a little more grinding. One. That's fine. And down there at the studio, I'll cut that little corner. We have a ring saw at the studio, which is wonderful. Those forest three ring saws little, are fantastic. This little area right here, what I was talking about. Mm -hmm. Down there, I'd just use the ring saw that way. She, she wouldn't have to grind so much, but... Mm -hmm. You could actually get that out of there. I probably could, but I don't want to take a chance on breaking it. I'll, I'll freaking cut it. Anyway, I'll just see how it works. Nobody can see what you're doing. There Sorry. You go. There. Okay. That there is number A6. A is the color. Whatever you choose, A yeah. is the color. And B is the other color. And that's for the stem. And you could add, if you wanted to really jazz this up and do it, make it fancier, you could add wire work to it or copper foil overlay and make it little lines for the, the leaf, the veins and leaf if you wanted to. Yep. I've seen people do I mean, lots. Of, some, well, Mary does some amazing on, wire work. On stained glass types too. Mary Mary Jones does some amazing wire work. Yeah, she does. And she just got her Facebook yep, page set does. up. I'm gluing this down, trying to cover it all the way. This is, should be showing up purple, but it does disappear after a short time. Okay, go back. Okay, we're going to... Uh, what do we want to do? Run this this way? Yeah, I guess we can run it that way. I'm trying to get this green in there. I want to try to catch all these neat variations of color. There we go. All right, I'm done gluing all the pieces down. There is only seven in this piece in this uh, stone catcher. Okay. I'll go ahead and mark them out for you. I'm going to make John cut all the pieces out tonight. <laughs> I'll be done. Mary stain, Mary stain Glass and More. That's your uh, Facebook page? Yep. Okay, cool. Oh, yeah, this Sharpie marker sucks. I told you the silver ones do. Not all the silver ones, but this well, one does. Once you use them two or three times, they're no good. They just suck. <laughs> I wonder if the black would work on this. This is kind of light colored. I'm going to try the black. Oh, yeah, the black works fine. I don't know if they can see what I'm doing. Yeah, they can. Actually, because this is a lighter, lighter piece, I think you can see the black fine. Got people from the live shop trying to get in. Says, I can't find your live stream. Uh oh. No, I just gave them the link. Some people are good enough that they can just trace around the pattern pieces and not even glue them down. Yeah, some people put them on the light box. I'm too. not that good. They put like the pattern underneath the <laughs> yeah, glass and, and trace then the trace on all. the glass. I ain't that good. Yeah. <laughs> Everybody does their glass a little bit differently. This is just how I do it. Everybody's got their own tricks. 
and their own way of doing things. If you're on here and you're a glass artist and you were used to, or you've taken some classes and your teacher didn't do it this way, it's perfectly a-okay. You do you, and I'll do me. <laughs> it's like hike your own hike. Yes, it is. Glass your own glass. <laughs> there you go. Mary's link is up there in the chat. If anybody wants to go check her out as well, her stuff. Ooh, Sorry, squeaky. Oh, this hurts what Jan's done today, too. There. Oh, my goodness. Look at that. Uh, She's got her shelf glass. mainly... I need, I need glassers anonymous because I like and this isn't even this isn't even close no this to the ain't beginning. even this ain't even a tenth of what we got this stuff over here and I still have scrap upstairs and then there's in the more freezeway. here <laughs> this is just my stuff here this isn't and then the, there's the more over here and this is all glass then we got another box over here then we got a crap ton of scrap glass bigger scrap glass well up top my mom and i decided since we were on our way and we were going through that area anyway we would stop at a glass shop after we picked up my transmission in wisconsin <laughs> we were going to stop at ed hoy but they were closed on monday so we couldn't stop there so instead we stopped at this little place in kenosha little glass shop in kenosha wisconsin and i even picked up a couple pieces of black and a really beautiful piece of baroque blue oh, i need to move this here out of my way are you cutting? I'm getting ready to. <laughs> I thought I had a ruler down here or a yardstick. Uh oh. Uh, there should be. I don't see one nowhere. Uh, they must be. Oh, uh, no. It came down and got it. It's upstairs. Well, there is one. I guess I'll cut it without it. Which one of these pops is mine? That one. This one? Mine's on the white. Okay. <laughs> Oh, sorry guys. There's a ruler. He's gonna cut, try to cut it as square as possible. Well, I don't want to. I want to cut as least amount waist as possible. Yes. And keep the edges straight. Thank you, Lily. The glass is beautiful. Mary says, she, man, I love the color of that glass. <laughs> it is very pretty. There he's got the running pliers. Breaking it off there. That came away pretty clean. Okay, I will. That has to go back to Mom's because that's actually Mom's big piece of glass. So <laughs> she may want to make another weight on her maple leaf. I told her I was going to keep it, so I'm going to make a, like a set of three small, medium, and oh, large to hang from okay, the window. Okay, well then uh, we have to go to Kokomo. Mm -hmm. I'm not going to Kokomo <laughs> that anytime soon. <laughs> Why not? Because every time we go there, it's like a $400 bill. No. It's not that much. I, I restrain myself better than that. Hey, Joe. Yo, Jeffrey. Hi, hello. hello, John and Jan. Stop, just stopped in to sit to show support. Can't stay long, John. I'll try to text you and let you know what's up. Hope everyone has a wonderful night. Thanks, Joe. Thanks, Joe. I hope you are feeling better, or hope you're getting some some better uh, days ahead here yeah. soon. That's there is a three. Thanks for your support, man. I really yeah, appreciate we do it. Appreciate you, Joe. Anybody knows anybody that does mosaics and they need mosaic glass? Let me know. We have a lot of scrap, little pieces um, of scrap. We need to get a hold of the lady down there at the Dang On Art Gallery. Yes, I do. Because do that. she would, she will give you the uh, lady's name. But yeah, I have to make to a before. hummingbird for her, and I'll stop in there with the hummingbird. <laughs> hummingbird mm -hmm. she wants a lime green one <laughs> actually i got a piece of that let me uh, not the lime green but the, that blue baroque let me show everybody what that looks like i feel like we got a sliver in my finger mm, this is not in that. that section mm. 
It's bad. I put all this glass away so I know what I had. And I, I know I have it, but I don't remember where it put it. Isn't that bad? What color is it? It's blue. Well, then you should have blue, it in with clear. your blues. If it's, 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 bleh. if it's broke, then you should have a section for just broke glass. Baroque. Not yeah, oak. Baroque. Bar oak. But I don't have just a section. Uh, I just kind of did this rather quickly. Oh, here it is. Broke, broke, bar oak. How do you want to say it? This is uh, SB Baroque. 430 or four, either 430 or 436 four. check this out look at that glass I love it it's so pretty this isn't the one I got this I got one just like this at the place in Kenosha but this is my other piece that I had so now I have two pieces of this it's hard to come by this Baroque stuff, especially the colored stuff. You can find the black and clear, anybody or the white and clear. A, anybody knows of a Glass Anonymous place? That's where she needs to go. <laughs> Glassers Anonymous. <laughs> That's where Jan needs to go. Uh, Vicki, um, how do you buy the glass? By the piece or of the size or by the weight? Uh, it depends on where I'm at. Um, now, scrap glass down at Kokomo. At the Kokomo Lesson Glass, I buy by the weight. Um, most mm -hmm. stained glass places that you go to sell it by the piece. Some and by the size of the piece, of course. Most of them are 12 by 12s or 12 by 16s or um, or half. I have bought. I do have some half sheets. They're not here, but I have some half sheets and quarter sheets. Half sheets, quarter sheets. And they're, you know, just and half sheets are four by four. But most of your glass shops sell it in smaller pieces. All right. There it is, glued down. There it is, glued down. Now she's going to take it over here to the saw or ugh, to the grinder. Grinder. Grinder time. Start grinding on it. <laughs> Phase right. one complete. Right. Cutting, picking. Gluing down and cutting out the pattern, the, the sun catcher pieces. I don't know if I'm trying to get on the... JNN Travels, hello. Love the color. Thank you. Hi, JNN. John and Nancy. No, no, the, the, um, the glass has gotten very expensive. And the more red that's in your glass, the more expensive it is. Yes. So oranges, red, pink. Red is what they call a hot color. Yeah, red, orange, pink. Those are the most expensive colors you can Make buy. Make sure you got enough water in your. Uh, your blues, your ambers, um, purples are usually less. Greens are usually less. Yellows can be a bit pricey now too. They're uh, almost almost considered a mid-range hot color. I already got the grinder going. I'm ready to go. Right. I already All did right. that. That's fine. I'm just make sure there's no <laughs> yeah, color this around. piece is so pretty. I like that piece. I'm gonna have to find something to do. It almost looks like candy corn, doesn't it? Kind of like candy corn. So you guys, the color that's on the see. A lot of times we'll put it on the light box. Mm -hmm. Figure out what the color is. See now, see you can see a lot better like that. The colors because if you just hold it like that there you can see it and then if you get into something where it's darker i mean it looks mm -hmm. totally different or if you hold it up at the light you know it looks different mm -hmm. yeah, that would be neat on the to make table a feather like that. out of that it would look kind of like a phoenix feather and, yeah it and probably then would use iridized black with that that'd be like a phoenix feather it'd be neat all right, I'm going to move this pattern piece All over right, here. We're going to go grinding. over here to the grinder. Warn you, it may be loud. A little bit noisy. A little noisy, but if it's too noisy for anybody, just let me know and I will do my best and I will just <laughs> mute the dang on microphone to where you guys don't hear it. Hello, Bob. Hey, Bob. Bonnie. Hello, hello. 
Bob and Bonnie. Okay, where am I going to start here? Hmm. Or do I want to come out here to with it and, and go down with the tripod? Try to get eye level with it. See if that'll work. See how that looks. Okay, so this is a glass grinder. It has a bit on it. This is a one inch bit. Sorry guys, I'm getting you all dizzy. Uh oh. There. Maybe get you down. Get you down a little bit lower. Y'all like being eye level or you like being up above it? You know what? I didn't get this little grinder going. You guys let me know. You want to be eye level or you want to be above it? One for eye level, two for above it. Get some interaction with you guys tonight. I know I had this on here, what the heck? Maybe not. That's our nose on it. This is not, uh, it's not for this, but I did have it on there, I think. You want me to fix it? I don't have a small yes I know grinder head oh I could just use that well, wait please just get this this doesn't well, go on wait. there yes it does just I I'm gonna use this little one here I, there's nothing really that tiny so if you get this grinder ready to go for me okay this is a gripper sometimes I like to use this to hold small pieces of glass This is a uh, grinder cookie because these edges are pretty oh, I'm sharp. Oh, get last time too. Yeah. It's been a while since I used this grinder. Probably months since I used this grinder because I've been working at the studio at the farm. Uh-oh, I hit that. What did I do? Two for above, three for above. All right, we'll put you guys up above. Why is this not bright? Because you got to hold your finger on it. There we go. There. Okay. <laughs> I forgot how to use my own equipment. That's horrible. We haven't used that one a whole lot. I haven't lot. used this one in a while. This is real sharp, so I'm going to just take this down here and I'm going to gently touch this and run it across this diamond coated bit. Glass shards do fly, so be very, very careful. I always wear, I've got glasses on that are like safety kind of glasses. They're built into the lenses, and they cover, they're full coverage of my face. But I also have this magnifying glass over this. Some people use a, a plastic tub or a, an aquarium to stick their grinder in to keep the grinder shards and dust from going all over and flying everywhere. And just take that right off to the edge right here. I take it right down to the edge of my paper. Now more might have to come off of it later when I'm fitting, but I'm getting it as close as I can right now. Some people like to leave a little bit more glass on it. You can always take more off, but you can't put it back on once it's off of it. Grinding and fitting is very therapeutic. It's just relaxing to me. Except for when stuff goes really wrong. <laughs> Normally we would 
take that excess glass and they're out with the saw, with the saw, but we don't have a saw set up right now. So. Yeah, but it's a glass band saw, not a ring saw. It might be really difficult to do this curve. It might be. You just have to take it in there and square it. You'd have to take, go down inside there, in there, like it, straight in and straight out, and you're gonna have to leave excess glass anyway. grinder you want to come over here a second and move the sure will. camera so everybody can see I'm working on sharing things out but I, I'm, I'm coming right now oh he is oh boy running me a sanding oak yeah it kind of is it's the glass, some glasses are harder than others. This this glass I'm using here is very delicate, actually. It's easy to grind. Is this plugged in? Yep. Okay. You gotta just turn it on. This is Mary's old grinder. Yep, Mary's old grinder. <laughs> and if you do need to use the little, the top little bit, uh, I remember yeah. that we've been, hold, we held a, a sponge up to it. Oh uh, yeah, this is not ideal. No. Peel the paper off of it. You can take a wipe it down and take a look at what we got. And it doesn't with a sun catcher, you don't have to have it perfectly to the outside of the pattern. No, you don't. Only your inner uh, edges really, really matter. And if you do get a gap or something in there, you can always take foil and fold it up and stick it in between them gaps and that actually helps it because it'll make it stronger. Alright, we'll set it on here and pin it down. If anybody's in here and not a subscriber yet, please subscribe and hit that button. And we will be doing this here at least once every other week. Unless it's holiday season and we're really busy and then we'll be doing mm -hmm. it maybe once a month. So there's my first piece. I'm working from the top down. I'll go put these two in here and then I'll match up the next pieces here and here and then here and here and then put this in at the end. All right, you got one piece done and we've been on an hour. Well, yeah. Okay. <laughs> because so. we've been cutting and everything else. That's fine. And we got on early. Yeah, a little bit early. So that means less, less jabber unless you got a question and more grinding. Thank you. Anybody got any questions? We will I'll, we'll read them off to her and she can answer them for you. in here from the I think we do if they got any suggestions too anybody in here does glass and you got a suggestion please let me know yep I'm always always learning something new every day yep. doesn't matter how many years I've been doing it always learning something new Marlon wants to know what glass was used for the leaf um this is a coat I'm not sure the number. It's a co it's it is Kokomo opalescent glass. Yeah, it's from Kokomo. I know it's an LL and it's a red 
a red, amber, and green, and clear, red, amber, and green mixture, I think. Huh? Oh, the big piece? It does not, nothing's written on it. I do not remember the exact, I should have looked it up, I didn't remember the exact number from Kokomo. A lot of times we go down to Kokomo, since we live in Indiana, we're only like two and a half hours away. So we go down there, we find stuff in the scrap bin. This is not scrap, but no. we have found stuff in the scrap bin. Right there. here's the, right, that there's the piece. If you want, put it on the light box and show it off, John. There's a, that there is it right there. It's like a green, green, brown, and amber wispy. Red, red green, and amber. Red, yeah. green, and amber wispy. And it's probably an LL. It's, it's really Most cute. likely an LL. We ain't done too many classes, so we do got some things to get. Huh? So we do have some things to get worked out as we're going, like what kind of glass we're using, the numbers. And yeah, this is something new. We that's something doing. new that we're that doing. So. No one, I will do that. that yeah. My never thought about that. Picked out, kind of, and set up to where. Yeah, see, see those are on a. Another smaller grinder now. Yeah. That's got a smaller bit on it. But yeah, thanks, thanks, Marlin, for. Uh, I think that's Marlin. Am I pronouncing that right? Or Mary Lynn? Marilyn. Marilyn. <laughs> Can't hardly really see it. Light, yeah. Yeah, I got a few guys on my phone. But thanks for that. That's a, That's good, a good tip there. That's tip to uh, get idea. that way we can know what glass we got. We we'll have it written down in case somebody does ask again. Yeah, with us. Because I would have. I gotta clean that off. I would have asked that question too. I'd be like, "What kind of glass is that?" I like. Yeah. It. Let me grab a paper towel. Where is that? Right there. I did, do need to clean off that. It's the only thing I don't like about the Wizard Grinders. I usually use a Glass Star. G8. Yeah, and I really like that grinder way better than this Wizard. I'll get you a new one. <laughs> well, we've got two different studios. We don't do a whole lot of glass here. We do a, most of the glass down at the other studio. I actually set this up because of COVID. Yeah, that's why. This is the, this is, at the beginning of that, and everybody was stuck. I didn't want to go down there. My mom is in her 70s, and I didn't want to, you know, go down there and take anything in there at the beginning of the whole deal shebang last year. So I started setting this up down here. Yeah, so that, that chipped. This grinder bit, you might even, with this glass, you might really want to go with a, a less coarse bit. This There's different... <laughs> John's looking it up. <laughs> to see what it's done? It's chipped this glass. Did it? Yep. You had to go easier on it. Either that or I'm going as it. going as easy as I can. Oh. And it's got tons of water in it. Okay. So let me just see if I can do here. Alrighty. I'm very gentle. Yep, it sure did. I'll have to make sure that that gets a, a little bit wider foil. That's all. Yep, sure did. This is a coarse bit and probably should be using a little bit smoother bit on this. It's been a long time ago. A long time since I've worked with glass. But with like water glass, I always 
use a uh, smoother bit on water glass too. Six N L L as a Nancy Leaf Leaf. Yeah. It's a beautiful glass. It is. This one's gonna be wow, that's really dark. 
Well, what do you think of that? Do you think that's a cut that piece pieces? They're pretty dark. Well, it'd be like they're changed, like it's changing over, I guess. Yeah. Well, I didn't see them before they were. Hello, Karen. Hey, Karen's story. Oh, Karen's story. Let me show you the progress real quick. Instead of sitting there watching a the bit go round and round. Go round and round, yeah. I mean, that's pretty much what it's doing. Going round and round. Let's see if I can get a. There you go. Kind of take the shadow out of it a little bit, or the glare. with me I was actually wanting to get most of this hair done and just have a couple pieces to do here and there oh, yeah. and get it kind of most of the way ready to go I'm just trying to start to finish what's going on with this. Wednesday night wine chat where we sit around and drink wine. <laughs> sit around and drink wine. <laughs> I don't even like wine. I really, really, I don't. I don't think it's 
for this brain. I don't know if that's good for this brain. I think it's the same course of coarseness as this one. Though. We'll find out. I'll fill this bit and see what it feels like. <laughs> actually, I don't think. Actually, I think that other one is smoother than this. I don't I know. So. Maybe not. But I do know it's different because this one here's got little rings at the top. Oh. Can I try to? Can I try to replace it and find out? Yeah, you can try it. You can try to replace it. Can't out. be much worse than that one. <laughs> okay, that there does not have the dang on. Uh, I'm going to show you how to change the bit on the grinder tonight. <laughs> yeah, change the bit on the grinder. Figure it out. I may just work on this one over here for right now. I guess to show off changing the grinder bit. Okay, this one here may may not may not be may not fit it. Huh? This here may not fit this one. See how that'll work. Alright. Go easy on it at the beginning because I don't know. Okay. And then the other grinder will fit down yep, there? Yep, okay. sure is. Alright. Go easy at first. Like you should turn it off first. Never mind, that's the other one. <laughs> yeah. Oh, no, that's, I made sure it was yeah, turned that's off. Yeah, that's better. Maybe that. Yeah, Maybe that other bit. Maybe that other bit's too coarse. Either too coarse or too worn out. Yeah, it could be worn out. Because they get worn out and they miss a. They get the grit taken off of one spot or another. Yeah. How much water are we using in the grinder? Uh. Not. I just up to the where there's the marking in there on the, in the grinder. So I use. Usually uh, about. Still yeah, we use distilled water too. But we usually look at the sponge and when it's up about a quarter inch up onto the sponge, that's about where we put it. And there is usually if there's a mark inside here to uh, fill it and that's where we usually fill it up to. Yeah, so you can see that see the uh, glass dust is turning white that that, that bit was getting over. much better there's always a reason why it ain't working the way it should yeah, you just got to figure out what it is doing for <laughs> that or it needs, it's 
for portions of glass. Is, yeah, either that. Melt out glass is, is a really delicate. I mean, this bit here looks brand new. Yeah, see, it's like coarser. I'm gonna also. It looks brand new. This bit. Yeah. It's it's like coarser coarser. Yeah. You can see it. You don't feel it a whole lot, but you can see it. There you go. So Keep it in there. There's lots to think about when you're doing the yep, glass. Yeah. There is. Different types of glass are gonna require different grits on the bit. And the best way to Marilyn to figure out how much water to put in it. Just put some water in there and then turn it on and watch your wheel and your wheel you'll see when yeah. your wheel gets wet. You don't want you don't want your glass to come off in like a dust. You want it to actually come off in like a liquid. In a slurry. Yeah. If it's coming off like dust, you don't have enough water. Right. And it's gonna chip your glass Here, and Here, let me see if I can get it in there. See how it's like a little slurry right there? See a piece, it should be a, like a slurry. Yeah. That, that, uh, I had plenty of water in there, but there was piling up. You could see the thick yeah, chips. That, that the should have been chips. a clue. As yeah, that, that it should have been. I, I wasn't thinking, I wasn't paying attention. That should have been my first clue. So now you don't have chips there, you just got water. Yep. Which. I don't know, I hope this looks okay, guys. I hope so. <laughs> Somebody's going to get something. It's, um, it's different. I like it. Yeah, it's Should be able to get you a good clearer picture. And plus, the bit's moving too, so the camera's trying to pick up on focus on different parts. Yeah. Yeah, really said, I'm anxious to see it completed. I actually, I am too. There it goes, your slurry. You can see it right there on that piece. That's the way it should be. And you just touch your tip just a little bit, you know, smoothing it out. Just trying to take the sharp so, edge off, otherwise yeah. it'll, it'll cut into the foil. been on my end where it looked blurry because Mary said it looks good to her. Okay. So. And we got one more piece to grind actually. And Marilyn said it was a clearer picture too. Thanks. Oh, Alright, got the stem. Now oh, this man. is a different oh, glass. The stem good. is a, it looks like the stem is a piece of spectrum. It's a nice dark brown spectrum glass. It's kind of what we call a tree brown, I think. And we do have our own names for different glass. <laughs> we, we really do. I am not going to give all the numbers and letters. No. There's some I know. 37 is one I know by heart because I use a lot of it and buy a lot of it. And it's blue. And it looks like cloudy, like a cloudy sky. It's about 37. And then 61, I use a lot of 61. Yeah, a lot of 61, 61 special. On oh, the Spectrum, or Oceanside glass, I use a lot of yep. lights. The 305s, 307s, 308.
Now this one you can really see the slurry on this glass. This is a d little more dense glass. That LL glass is not as dense. You can really see that slurry going off. Yeah, it looks like it's going slow and it looks like it's warped. I think it's just the uh, camera. Yeah. It's like the airplane. The, yeah. Airplane. So if, it was, <laughs> if it was warped, you'd know it on the grind oh, and it, yeah. would, it, would, it would get her on it. Okay. You can see that slurry on there. What yeah. is that? Well, they can't see it because they're not holding it. You can see the slurry. There. That's what's really here. dirty. Yep, really, really dirty. That's what it should look like. Yeah. Not the big chippy stuff we had before, but now that that would have probably worked good on there. I think Diana is here. <laughs> Hello. Hello, we're downstairs. <laughs> My best friend is here. <laughs> Uh, okay, so there's the stem right there. That's the stem. I'm going to move you guys over here so you can see what I'm doing. Doo -doo. Yes, I do have more glass under the table. <laughs> more glass. Set you there. Oh, wait a minute. Sorry, guys. We adjust you here. All right, what do you guys think? It's pretty dark on those edges. These edge pieces are kind of dark. I hope hope it matches up. Does okay. You can kind of see them. Pretty dark. I guess it just shows the variation. Maybe this part of the leaf turned before that part of the leaf did. These ones at the bottom have a little more green in them. Mary likes it. <laughs> Go ahead and put this in here. Oh, out of the way, I think. Yep. that in there. I hear the cats jumping around upstairs. Okay. This should match up in here pretty good. Hmm. Something's going on here. Let me see. Okay, there we go. I hear my cats up there crying. Okay, so I want to make sure I have an angle on these two here so that they don't have a hinge point. If you get too much of a too much of a uh, straight line on there, I want a, an angle going in here and an angle going in here. And I might even stick a little piece of wire run down through here into this section here just to keep it from hinging off of there. Because once you put the foil on there, if it's a weak point, it'll want to hinge and go like this, even after it's soldered, and pieces will break off. So if I run a piece of wire down here and into the seam, that should help. Actually, I might run it down into the seam and then out the side here. I think I have enough space to maybe do that. Hey, Timmy Ray, hello. Hello, hello. Oh, thanks, Mary. <laughs> I'm always looking for hinge points because any weak points in the in the design are gonna make it last long or break. So you guys think of that. It's kind of it's this these two pieces are really light up in there. Get a variegated leaf. <laughs> And I'm going to run over.
over here and wash this thing. Wash the pieces. You got to get it all cleaned up, wash it off. Make sure there's no grinder dust on it or the foil doesn't like to stick. And you want a good contact to the glass with this. And I got grinder dust on my fingers. And I just used Dawn. I'm going to take it over here and I'll be right back. Because I can't carry the glass and wash and, and, and carry the camera as well. I will be right back. <laughs> Give this a quick wash. Actually, I need, can wow. you get in this drawer right here, John, and get me a clean, dry towel? Mm -hmm. Got it all washed up. I just have to dry it. Here you wow, go. Wow, wow. I've been busy <laughs> trying to get it all cleaned up down here and uh, get glass put away. Wow, it looks really nice. <laughs> That's it, Wow. You know any glass anonymous places? <laughs> like alcohol anonymous? Yeah, glass. <laughs> no, there's nothing that beats my favorite <laughs> Now that's something I, I that's that's an art there too. Oh so, gosh, so are, yes. They are I mean he, he goes crazy, he's like my God, he's like you bring any more fair home. <laughs> you know, I'll get up, you can have this seat. No, I'm want. good. Dry on each piece. Oh, are you making back. one of my favorite leaves? Yes. Those are so cool. <laughs> Showing it on our live stream. We're going to make it. Nice. And at the end of it, we're going to give it away. Yep. Nice. That one goes there. We got seven people still watching and seven mm -hmm. thumbs up. Awesome. Timmy Ray, hello. <laughs> They're so cool. I love those. Those leaves. Mm -hmm. This is really cool. Oh, yeah. my light box. That's the yeah. color of it. That's really cool That's glass. this glass here. Yeah, that looks really neat. What do you think of this? I got we got these light pieces in here. Light pieces and dark, and the dark pieces. pieces. But you need them. Yeah, it variegates the leaf. Yeah, you need them. I think they look good. Yeah. I was a little concerned at first, but I think I think it looks good. No, you need them. Okay, this is this one. Okay, which one's the clean one? Which one's the dirty one? I don't know. Wow, I don't know either. <laughs> uh, I guess it don't matter. Guess not. Put that one over here, and just set this one over here. All right. Well, all the grinding part is done. The water used to have the. My husband sold them all in his booth. What? Briars. Oh yeah, I have briar horses. I should. I don't know. I was gonna give them to my niece. Okay, we're gonna go. Sorry guys, bouncing you around a little bit. I like the tip of that leaf. It's pretty. Mhm. This is my foiling station. Got all my copper foils here. Got my pattern, and these are for 
I, I just had a brain fart. <laughs> Those are for pressing your foil on. Yeah, uh, burnishing. That's what I was trying to remember. Burnishing. Now I'm going to use a black backed copper foil because this is very see through. If you used copper, copper foil, which you could, it would, it would shine. But I'm going to patina this black. So if you're going to patina black, it's best to use black backed copper foil. I thought I just I thought I fell out of this freaking chair. <laughs> now I do oh, have some edges in here. I think I'm gonna, you're hitting the ground with the wing back and it didn't stop. <laughs> John's gonna fall out of his chair over there. Okay, good, job, John. I thought I'd get ready to. See this little bend in here? Uh -huh. A lot of times it's on the outside of the sun catcher, and uh, it, the foil likes to crack in here. So what I do is I stick a little piece of foil in here, preemptively, to cover that because once. With, on the outside piece, you can't add foil to cover up cracks on the outside. The foil will just come right off as you solder it. I know from experience. <laughs> John's done it. Piece, like, dude, you're going to have to take of all of it off and so redo it. I just went ahead and covered it up with another piece. And I went to foil it, that came right off. Yep. That was on the outside edge. Now, if it's on the inside edge, you're fine. Now, yeah. Some people use table foilers, and I just use my fingers and I just kind of eyeball it. Actually, Cable foilers are nice if you can get them to work. She's been doing it so many times. She's got this thing down to a science. Yeah. <laughs> and she's got, she got foilers right there on the other side of her tape. Yeah. But she don't use them. I, I don't, don't use, use the foiler. I just, I'd rather eyeball it. And it gets in my way. Yeah. Slows me down. I've done it this way so long that it doesn't bother me. So I'm just going to burnish this down, make sure that it's flush against the edge of the glass. I'm going to kind of bend it around carefully as to not rip or crack the foil. Now foil I can do. Grinding them I can do. I'm not good at it. <laughs> Foiling I can do. You can cut, right? Yeah, I, I cut. You cut this tonight for me. John's a good cutter. She had me come down at the other shop and cut a rabbit the other day. And yep. I was there for about 15 minutes. It was done. You already got that done? Yeah. I had to go back and clean it up. You got in a little too big of a hurry because you, on those ears, you left a lot on a couple of those ear inside well, the ears. Ear, you said you're just going to grind it, is what you told me. I said, I can go back and get it closer if you want. You said, no, I'll just grind it. Oh, I don't remember saying that. <laughs> that, comes, that comes with old age. That comes with being concentrating on what you're doing. Grinding takes concentration. I thought it was therapeutic. It is therapeutic, but it also takes concentration. You, know, you do a good job at it. You really do. It's my favorite part is grinding and fitting. Polishing is my least, least favorite part. I don't mind foiling because you can get really uh, intricate with details when you foil. Especially with overlay and wire work in there. I can add noses and whiskers and things. It's kind of cool. Okay, once you get it all down on the edges, then you go back with, the, I use this flat part. This is called a fiddle stick. Um, some people use one of these. I just kind of take it and go down along it and, and flatten it out onto the surface of the glass. That's the kind that your mom likes to use. She likes those flat ones like that. I don't. I they t For me, I they always tend to rip the glass. I like this flat yeah. part of this. And I just run it across. I don't know why it just feels like it, it's not tearing the, the foil at all. It's just pushing it down against there. This one, I, I think it's the angle that I hold things. Mm -hmm. Everybody holds things different. Yeah, yeah. my mom's left-handed, and I think that has a lot to yeah, do with it, too. Probably. And some people Me like... <laughs> some people love using them thing on uh, pencil cutters, too. Now, I have a X-Acto knife, and I like to get the uh, the reinforced ones. They have, like, a... I don't know, this one looks really like garbage, actually. It's really dirty. But uh, they have... They don't get as dull as fast, because you're cutting metal with this copper foil and it tends to wear down your exacto knives pretty quickly but i just trim off these little pieces here 
just run right along the foil and trim that off of there. Take this very carefully and pull that excess foil off. Discard it. And we did apply for our monetization on YouTube. Yes, we did. We did that yesterday. This is just one of the many things we do on our channel. But there's your first piece all foiled and ready to go for soldering. I'm going to place it back down and pin it down. Alright, so Joy's left-handed, yep. 19 thumbs up, that's awesome. Awesome. Back down. I'm glad you're doing that. I'll be here for the next six hours. <laughs> the next piece will be this one. So I'm going to, again, there's a big dip in there. I'm going to take a piece of foil, or even start foiling it, and we're going to stick that down in here. This one's a little wider, so I'm actually going to take two pieces of foil and marry them together and widen that out a little bit. Because there's a good chance that it could crack here or it could crack there. So hopefully I'm getting it in the right place. And I don't have to take it off and redo it. I have had that happen. I've had that happen a lot with me. I don't have the patience that you do. I don't need them. I'm really <laughs> don't. I want to get it done fast and be done. You can't glass, you and can't glass, go fast. You can't do that. You can't go fast. But I do want to make that pumpkin. Oh, the skull pumpkin? Skull pumpkin. Yeah. I don't want to make pumpkin. I, want, I can pumpkin. do a regular pumpkin. That wasn't I thought that was that's what that one was until I scrolled up a little bit. What? No, I don't want that one. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, regular pumpkin. You could actually put that up in in September and take it keep, keep it, it on in November. December, on December 1st. Yeah, yeah, exactly. Yeah. When you put you your Christmas you stuff up. For the whole January fall. 1st. Yeah. No, because the pumpkins for. I think eventually I'm, I think eventually I want a pumpkin and then two leaves for sure. my three windows and the living room. Oh, yeah. yeah, I think that'd be cool. Yep. Okay. Yeah, eventually. Mm -hmm. Right now I'm I put my money aside. Yeah. Yeah. I decided I think I'm buying a new sewing machine. Ah. Trading in my other two. Uh huh. Mm hmm You think it's about time? As much as you use them. My husband said he's like, Well, it won't go wrong. Yep, like, you use it all the time. Like, leave it set there and not use it. Yep. Yeah, but you don't know what this new one costs. <laughs> yeah, that's what I told her, like on the room saws. Yeah, but it costs this much. Yeah, but you're using it all that's the time. What you sound yeah, like my husband. He said the same thing. Yeah, four to five hundred dollars for a ring saw, but, but if you're, you're using use it, it all the time. And much stuff you do and much stuff you donate and give to people and this and that, it's not a want, it's a need. Yeah. <laughs> Timmy Ray's in here. <laughs> That's what I keep telling her. I'm going to get her another dang on grinder for down there. Oh, I don't need one just yet. Yeah, this one really works just fine. It does work, but it's not my favorite grinder exactly. in the world. <laughs> well, Santa Claus is coming. <laughs> mm -hmm. <laughs> The Santa Claus already came, got our new transmission. Yeah. I was going to say, you got yeah, yeah, exactly. the car back, huh? Yeah. And it that's is what wrong. I the transmission was garbage, huh? Yep. Took the crap on us. You already yep. got it back. First day, first yeah. day we were up there on vacation, took the crap. Yeah, I know mm -hmm. that. I was so upset, but you know what? We had fun anyway. Yeah, we did. We had a good time. We really didn't need to go nowhere. We're no. We're freaking nowhere where you need to go. Yeah. Miles of gas That's station. where I just went and picked up this rabbit. In the middle of nowhere. <laughs> mm -hmm. Through this cornfield, through that cornfield, yep. through this right. cornfield. Yeah. Okay. I just followed whatever my uh, OnStar said. Yeah. I just followed OnStar. <laughs> okay, I hope you know where you're getting me. Yeah. I went through this cornfield, that cornfield. I'm going to go up to Cheryl's. Oh, Cheryl Mudrat. Okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I saw where you're gonna go pick up a New Zealand. Uh huh. Oh, she's pretty. Nice. Mm. Is she in the car? Yeah. Ooh, I might have to go take a bunny break. Oh, honey, she's pretty. <laughs> oh, she's you go see the bunny. See the bunny. I'll bring it down. Yeah. She's gorgeous. Aww. But 
I can't wait till I told you I said I can't wait till spring because she's we're six eight. She's gotta be ready in December. Oh yeah. 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 Which kind of stinks because babies will be born in January. Yeah. The first week in January. Uh huh. But for six eight, that's what she's gotta have. I mean, it's already too late for them. So, yeah. yeah. Mm -hmm. Just have to use her for the same year. Mm hmm. Yep. But that's what she wants. That's her thing. She wants a meat pen so she can have money for college. I'm like, okay. Mm -hmm. Yep. It makes a difference when you got something oh, for the auction. Is she pretty. College. We have a whole bunch of Hollands going up for sale. Oh, Some wow. Of them are free. Oh, my goodness. Well, we're going to the uh, Golden Horseshoe Swap on Sunday. This Sunday. Are you serious? Yep. Yeah. Take the last yep, one of the year. Yep, last one of the year. I have to work the whole weekend. Oh. Uh, <clears throat> well, bring them over. We'll haul them out with this okay. if you want. I'm going to have. I'll put have, put uh, uh, your number lists and then yeah, how much you well, want I'll for, have them. And, for them. I'll have Highlands and uh, a couple Lion Heads. I'm not going to ask for much. Okay. But. I'll take them out there. You got to go. Yeah. Bunnies for sale. If anybody wants bunnies a bunny. For sale. <laughs> Floppy eared bunnies for sale. <laughs> They're super cute. <laughs> lion heads for sale. Oh, lion head bunnies for sale. They're super a cute too. Of them. Lion heads are cute. Yeah. A couple of them got to go too. Mm hmm. Mm. A lot of people are getting owl rabbits too now. And... Did you see what the Nationals is? Only, only 14,000? Really? Oh. Wow. Indianapolis, we'd have what? That's we had almost 30,000. Yeah. Like yeah. A lot. 14,000. Well, because of the RHD. Right. Oh, yes. Yes. Minnesota people cannot come at all. <gasps> oh, really? Yeah. I didn't know that. They have, and, do they have it up there? Um. And, you know, COVID is oh, still got yeah. people scared. Yeah, that too. Yeah. Yeah. And then Some when you go traveling. there, they all have to be inspected. Oh no. Yeah. So wow. if they, you know, sneeze or something, they have Ooh. to go and the health thing, inspection and, and yeah. all that. Wow. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So it's like I'm going down one day with Jr's two cousins. They called and asked if I wanted to go with because they want to go down and check it out. Uh huh. Like, okay, we'll go. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Well, he said if she was close, she'd have a bunny. <laughs> she lives in uh, Canada. Where's yeah. she at? Canada? A Newfoundland, yeah. actually. She's oh. in Newfoundland, way, way up there. I'm so jealous. <laughs> I believe that's where you're at, if I remember correctly, Lily. <laughs> if not, you can correct it. Yes. I'm so jealous. I want to go to Canada someday so bad. Oh, Canada. I go fishing. Canada and yeah. Alaska, but I want to go to Alaska in the winter time. I want to go up to Bayfield County in the winter, this winter, to see the Apostle Islands and the ice caves on Lake in Superior, Wisconsin? northern Wisconsin on Lake Superior. Let's take a trip. I really want to go up there. They have, were supposed to have the this hike that in every mile or so they have, uh, it's on Schwamigan Bay meter. or something, every meter, yeah, they right. have a warming station and and drinks and, and refreshments. <laughs> and at the end of it, they have a big old party on the beach yep. at that night yep. on the lake. With lights. They plow, they plow the lake, the lane, mm -hmm. and, at, and so many feet, they have a lantern set up where it's lit. Yep. So when does this happen? When does this You happen? can either hike it or snowshoe it. Like when? Like, uh, January, I want to say, or February, end of January, or February, February, beginning of February. Side, we'll you know, find out goes. exactly when. Uh, the the, the girls, the college kids were telling us about it. Because <laughs> I would have to, you know, make arrangements yes. for work. Yes, yeah. Lily really said you're right, Jan. Yep, oh, good. I, I was hoping my memory wasn't too bad. <laughs> I thought she did. I thought she lived in Canada. I'd love for one of my buddies to go to Canada. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> oh, man. That'd be awesome. That's only 7.30. It feels like midnight. I know. It, it does to me, too. Um, 
It's a busy day at work today. I'm trying to think of who the judge was that just came back from from showing in Alaska. Jill. Uh, oh, okay. Schmidt? Yep. She's in Wisconsin. Yep. She just came back from Alaska. She did, took some beautiful Alaska pictures. Wow. It'd be cool. That's on my bucket list eventually to my get up there. My bucket list too. I, I would love to take a camper trip, yeah, an I RV would. across and stop and I see. I would love to go to a rabbit show there just to say It would be neat, yeah. Just to say yep. it. It would be neat. I'm going to top over here because i got to get that comment thing up here. Oh, yeah. i got to figure out how to do that. <laughs> so where's that or what? I'm going as fast as I can. No, it's. We tell them on the live stream, you know, in the video, they comment a certain word, mm. and they comment, and I got this comment picker or whatever it is. I put that word in there, and it randomly chooses somebody that mm -hmm. put that word in there. Can they see what I'm doing? I'm not. Yeah, you can see okay. what you're doing. All right. Actually, you're pretty darn close to being center left. Awesome. Uh, I got to kind of remember what the name of that is. Comment picker or something like that. I'll figure it out. I figured some people really enjoy watching people craft. And there's been some, you know, well, no, there's some interest in, in this. Here. She likes watching. She might yeah, be busy. Yeah, she might be busy. And she might not have gotten notified. Yeah, some people have been getting notifications. Be going good. Becky had, was wanting to watch somebody's video and they didn't get the notification for it. Yeah. Or I got totally unsubscribed from Roy and Becky. Yeah, you did the other night. I don't know how I that happened. You were live and you're like, well, I didn't know if I went look me. YouTube unsubscribe you from them. Yeah, I was like, what? I should, I should go on yours and do a double flannel baby blanket for people to see how easy it is. Oh, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, there's a lot of crafting channels out there. Canning channels, crafting channels. Yep. Me and Jan's going to do some jam. Yes, we are. I picked. You're doing jam? Yeah. Yep. Oh, good. I we're picked. Doing, uh, uh, we'll do that on live stream too. People there's like yeah. there's one jam. called, it's called Christmas Jam. Ooh, we got to do that. It does cranberries. <gasps> it uses cranberries and uh, pineapple. Mm. Pineapple. Mm, cranberries and pineapple and something else. But I want to do cranberry raspberries. Ooh, yeah. And then there's another one called January Jam, which is mm. just cranberries and pineapple. But I want to do huh. raspberry pineapple. Oh, raspberry pineapple, right up and my alley. I only have, um, you know, 13 quarts of raspberries in my freezer. Whew. Wow. I got several since you brought me over a bunch. And then I just picked a. Uh, Almost a pint last Plus night. You have another quart in my freezer for off of oh, your Oh, wow, really? Mm -hmm. Off of your plants when you were on vacation. Oh, wow. Does anybody know what that comment picker name is? Oh, John's trying to find the comment picker for the giveaway because we're giving away this leaf. Aww. <laughs> I got random on comment the picker, but I don't want. Dream. I don't want random comment picker. I want to be able to put in a certain word. Um, you might have to do random because it might not do that outside of stream yards. No, it ain't stream yards that you use it in. Okay. Anybody know what that is? What the name of it is? <laughs> look Looking up. for it? Just put it up, up there, comment picker, and it just keeps coming up with random comment picker. Comment generator. Maybe that's it. Let me try that. Comment gemmer, generator. <laughs> Just look at the Release case. the Kraken, it says. <laughs> Release the Kraken? That's what it says. I think I... Got the wrong thing? Yeah, probably. <laughs> Release the Kraken. <laughs> Just randomly pick me, John, Lily says, LOL. 
Yeah, she is a Canadian and it is a maple leaf. <laughs> See what I'm doing. Comment generator free. Comment generator Facebook. Comment generator TikTok. Comment generator for YouTube. YouTube random. That's random. I don't want random. Could it be word picker? Mm, don't know. Okay. I think we're getting down. I only got two more pieces to go, guys. And we can solder it together. Next time I'll have a two cut out. I'll have two in different stages, you know? Yeah. Where I can kind of show what's going on. I'll have one, two or three. I have one in the in the foiling stage. That's that's the one that's ready to solder and and one in the you know cut in the ground stage. Oh no, that's random put this that's random name. Little names, that ain't what I need. No. So I'm trying to figure it out so we can pick a winner on this. Giveaway. Roy and Becky, I got a question. Hey, Roy and Brett, Becky, hello. Maybe you guys will know. What is the name of that program that you use to pick a comment? Somebody puts in a comment and you put in your link into that thing and they pick a person from that comment? They might not be able to hear you, dear. He's trying to fig figure out how to find a comment picker. Not a random, but... Well, it will be a random comment picker. That's what they're called. No, I don't want that. I want one where I tell them what the word to say, and they say it, and it goes in there. It's still a random comment picker. It's not picker. random. Random means they pick any word at all out of that. No. Okay. R random okay. should mean that it's they're picking up okay. by random the set one comment. <laughs> you say so. <laughs> Otherwise, otherwise, the, the other way is pointless. That's pointless. There's, why would they make a pointless app? Well, they do make a lot of pointless apps, but... No, Box Van D uses it all the time. She uses the one on StreamYard. Comment picker, that's what I thought it was. <laughs> They want me to freaking sign up all kinds of stuff. I'm not signing up. Probably have to in order to use it. Nope, I've used it before. In StreamYard, I think. It don't run with StreamYards. StreamYards does not run that. Okay. So that's on a stream yard. I didn't think it was. Yeah, it is.
Uh, see what I deal with, Becky? <laughs> There it is. You put the URL in, well, somebody's going to win it. Whatever you say, you say. That's how it works, I guess. The more comments you got, the more chances you got to win, I guess. Is that how it works? That ain't the way I wanted it. But it's not how it works. So no. That's what's happen. What about the wheel? Nope. Ain't going to wheel. We're going to do the wheel. Do the wheel. And when we go do it, then we just say the name and then do the wheel. Uh oh. <laughs> oh, I hear. I think she's bringing the bunny. I'm going to see a bunny. Yay, got a bunny visitor. She's quite the cow. Aw. The big old New Zealand. Oh, but she's beautiful. Aww. Oh. Okay. That's the last Ow. one. I hurt my elbow today. Uh oh. Mm. Holy crap, she's huge. I told you. <laughs> but my guy, does she have the body? Oh, sorry. Oh. It's down. Oh, it's going to be so pretty. It is. Really nice. I love that two tone glass. Oh, I know. It's really pretty. Okay. All right. I'm going to move this over to my soldering station, which is right there. Ooh, that coffee smells good. That take me a week to do. <laughs> All right, what word are you going to tell them to say? Um, leaf. L E A F. Right. That's easy enough, right? You guys heard her commented in the comments if you want to be leaf, entered. If you want to be entered into the drawing. Yeah, see, YouTube never notified them again. Oh no, really? Wow. All right, I got a little bit of a gap in there, so I'm gonna fill that gap with a little bit of copper foil. Mm. And gaps just happen. I put a little copper foil in there just to fill it, give it something to grab, so it doesn't take as much solder and I don't get any bubbles going. Because sometimes it likes to bubble or bleed through, especially if it gets hot. And this this LL glass will get hot very quickly. I have to be very careful not to okay, so bubble over. I got over. Mary, I got Marilyn, I got Lily, I got Vicky. Stick that in there. Like so. Let's see how I just fill that little gap in there in the foil in between the two pieces. Got Vicky. Hi, Hi, C. You must have been here stalking us. <laughs> All right, I got my Weller. This is a very cheap iron. Uh, this is a, a Weller um, ADL, and you can get these at a lot of different places. Um, I think Hobby Lobby used to they used to sell them. Oh, we're gonna draw when Jan's done. Maybe when she's done soldering. But now I gotta wait for this soldering iron yeah. to warm up. I should have turned it on a while ago. Let me go ahead and get the sponge wet. I run my rheostat at 70%. Um, no, Roy, I'm just putting it into a random person wheel. I'm not doing that. I can't find that thing on half. Yeah, if I ran this all the way full hot, it runs at about 800 degrees. Holy cow. And so it's a little bit hot for the LL glass. I just want to melt the solder. <laughs> no, the way I'm doing it, Roy. One, the one I was thinking, yes, it does, but I can't find that one. That's because I'm not on StreamYard. I'm actually on my phone. If YouTube get off their butt and monetize it, I can go live on YouTube. Yeah. I won't have to use a app. Hey, girl. Now I get a nice for your iron. 
And then I use flux, and I'm going to use a paste. There's a big bunny. Paste flux. Want to show them the bunny? Yes. Here? Commercial break for bunny bunny time. <laughs> oh my gosh, she's so cute. Uh, oh, oh. <laughs> bunny. Bunny. Here's a New Zealand bunny. Oh, sorry. There we go. Look at the bunny. Oh, yeah. She's a big one. Yeah, we should have a nice oh, baby. Yeah, that's the one I wanted to use, but I can't find it. I'm not in the yards. Oh, I need to. Once we get my ties, I mean, yeah. we might get oh, yeah. everything in my barn shed right now. So, oh man, everything everywhere. Yep. Shedding. Of course, because it's national. If you want to be, yep. in that, whoa, you really zoomed in there. <laughs> Come here. No, you're not eating. Okay, let me zoom back out. Oh, you're fine. Aw, look at her. She's so cute. Mary said she's pretty. Her is pretty. Aw. Let me see. Lily Collis says, she's huge, but beautiful. <laughs> what I got is Mary John. a Louis. New Zealand rabbit. She's big. Mary and Vicky England and Hi, C. sweetheart. <laughs> I don't know if anybody else commented. I don't see it. If that they did. <laughs> Lily's like, she C said the Cadbury bunny. <laughs> Cadbury, Cadbury bunny. bunny. It yep. is. She's the Cadbury bunny. That's yep. what they use. Yep. <laughs> That's what they use, huh? There's John over there sitting at the computer. Nope, this is my basement studio. Oh, we got C. We got uh, Roy and Becky said, I think that I'm even shedding LOL. <laughs> <There's John. laughs> oh, my he's a baby. good little bunny. We're <laughs> back in her carrier. Got really tolerant, I think. So we only got five. There's Timmy Ray. I've been on here almost two years and have not got to my thoughts. And I don't know what it is. I guess people are judging me. Well, maybe. I don't know. People probably just don't uh, see you yet or haven't gotten to know you. Got a rabbit slice. Oh, no. Mmm. <gasps> What did he do to you? Ow, 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 ow. Yeah. Bunnies have claws. Oh, yeah. I have, uh, you know, Sporin up there if you need them. Mm -hmm. You got points. And Band-Aids. Yeah, you know, Sporin, yep, and Band-Aids. Put it back on your leg. Nobody wants to see your dirty basement. Eh, it's not that bad. I've been cleaning down here all day. Can't be that dirty. Well, it's dusty. No. Is, oh, too far. This is touchy. Trying to just get in there and well, zoom, zoom in just a little bit. So that people can kind of see what I'm doing. Let's check and see if the iron's ready. Oh, yeah. It's hot. Good and hot. Okay. Now, good tip here. Found this out the hard way. But your rheostat or your iron cannot be plugged into a power strip. It fluctuates, the surge protector in it fluctuates too much. You have to make sure you plug it into an actual outlet. For real? Yeah. I did not know that. Can't cut out a we power strip. We until they done it and then they couldn't figure yep. out the solder. Yeah, we can't even figure out what was going on. Stuff. It wasn't melting the solder right. It wasn't Bump. laying down right. It was all lumpy and bumpy and nasty. It was awful. But this is the paste flux I'm going to use. I sometimes use a liquid Red flux or gel flux, too. This one. this one I should have had stitched. Ooh. Mm. That looks like a bite. Nope. No? It's a claw. Mm. Mm. Rabbits have shark claws. Oh, they do. I don't miss that at all. No. <laughs> shark claws I don't miss. Well, it's because I had to carry her on the floor, too. She got scared. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Timmy, we've been on her for almost four years. Four just years now. now. Yep. So, just hey. now. It takes time. It's it's yeah. not an easy thing. Some people get lucky and it goes really fast. Yeah. They just somehow hit that video. Usually it's something dramatic happens or, you know, 
unfortunately, it's usually something bad that sends people through the roof like crazy. Yeah. Like that fire down in Tennessee. Yeah, or, you know, it's other more flooding. Flooding or something like that where people are Anything like searching that. things like that yep. when something happens. If you got something like that on your channel and. Storm footage? Yeah. yeah. Like a hurricane or. All the fires out west. Yep, yeah, the fires out west. Yep. Get that viral video. Yep. Now I'm using 6040 solder. And this is a thinner tip. I like to use the thinner tip when I'm doing decorative stuff. Let's see what you're doing there. Yeah, I figured. I mean, you can see it, but you just got to get you twisted around there where they can see it a little bit better. There you go. And I get it in there. This pin is in the huh? way. All right, as long as you don't move, you're good. You're good. They can see you good. I can't move because it's. I know. All right, turn this way out. And slowly go on down the line here. Add some more solder when you need to. Pull this so, line. Oh, so, yeah. Now they can see it. Okay, I'm going to actually go the other direction. I'm used to using the other, other uh, iron. Yeah. You got one you <laughs> it got, has a bigger got tip. Two of those irons. Well, this one has the small tip, and I've been using the big tip. Hello, Sherry Lamar. Oh, man. Lamar, I might have to turn this means, up a little bit. That name sounds familiar. Hmm? Sherry Lamar. Mm hmm. Somebody from the glass? Could be. The glass uh, forums that you maybe have answered in the past. I should be using the bigger tip on this iron. We got we got six people registered for the stained glass leaf giveaway. Oh, we also got a. Well, no, U.S. only. Hmm? Well, I'll ship to, I'll ship to Lily. Alright, we'll ship it to wherever. Yep. Come on. Yep, we gotta be present to win. Must be present to win. And once we call a name, we will give you like two, three minutes to say something. If you don't, then we will go on to the okay, next person. We'll redraw. So it will. I was just saying that because I know if we ship over or across the border or whatever, it's going to be expensive. I will ship it okay. on this one because we didn't say expressly say yeah, it at the beginning. Yeah, we didn't specify that at the beginning. So I don't mind. No. Okay. Is that a is that a cricket or the machine? Hmm. Oh, you're probably hearing the floor squeak from upstairs. There's, we do have the windows open down here yeah, in the basement, and, and there's crickets. crickets outside. Yeah, there is. And that's probably what you're hearing, the crickets outside. They are noisy. They're singing. Crickets are noisy singers. Come on. This this. Well, smaller tip is not eaten up like it should. No way to use that iron anyway. That's not your iron if you like. No, it's not the iron I normally use. I did for a while. I really liked it for a while. I got that other one over there. Mm, Timmy said you need to make a Santa Claus suit so Roy can wear it. <laughs> Out of the 
Yeah, we don't have any machines on right now. Nope. All the machines are off at the moment. Yeah. Oh, well. Oh, man. You got deer stew or deer roast up there. Near Vincent's ground. Again. Man, this is, this iron is not working like it should. I'm going to add a little more flux. Clean it up. More flux. Anybody else new coming in? They want to get in on the giveaway of this. Sun catcher. Stained glass leaf sun catcher. Type the word leaf in its comments. Must be present to win. Winner, winner, winner. Oh, notification of something. Yeah. Popped in there. I I'm just going to flex all the way around the eyes. They're traveling. It'd be hard for them to keep it from breaking. Well, they could. You can hang it up in the window once they get out to port side or wherever they're going. Yep. So, Roy and Becky, you want to get in on it? Type the word leaf in there. I did get your tumbler back to you last night. That was the night before last. Oh, was it night before last? Yep. <laughs> you missing the day. You got everything you needed? Yep. I was playing with your neglected kitty. Oh, so. yeah. <laughs> oh, Rascal would not leave her alone. He'd come up and Oh, my gosh. I'm going to give him a hug. Aww. He's sleeping now. Is He's he? sleeping on the kitty tower. Oh, yeah. Hey, Kodiak is uh, on his back with his belly sticking out. Uh huh. In the middle of the living room. He does. He's always doing that. He's a silly cat. He's silly. And the other one is in the clothes hamper in the bathroom. Oh, yep. Sound that's, asleep. Yep, that's wow. Squeaker. Yeah, Squeaker. That's her favorite spot. Did, yep. I got it. Make the colors where they're going to be able to see them good. I have yeah. rag box cats. They like the rag box. Uh huh. They're starting to like their tower now. Oh, Taking good. At first. Mm hmm. But finally, they're starting to like their tower. <laughs> yeah, I've seen that picture up there. Ooh. Ooh, man. So you just decided not to, with all the rigor morale in the Nationals, not to do Nationals this year, huh? Well, only because, you know, the shopping back is going almost 24-7 out in the barn. Oh, mm -hmm. yeah. Everybody blew their coats really oh, bad. And it's like, wow. I, there's... It's not worth the money. It's not the worth money. it. Yeah. No. And now this year, is there's a $10 just to sign on, $10 fee for that, plus it's... I don't oh, know, man. 17 to ahead of the show. Wow. wow. That, could, that could be a reason why they're down, too. Yep. Cost. But I would have, but I could have probably done a couple wine heads, but I thought, you know what? No. I just want to go with his cousins one day and see how it is. Yeah. Plus, yeah. I really need to go spend another week with my sister. Yep. That's important. Yep. Yep. Totally understand that. Leanne yeah, asked, it looks like the maple leaves that are changing here. Yeah, that's why I did that. <laughs> yeah. Put the flux on there. Those pins are aluminum pins. They're not aluminum plastic. headed, yes. They're aluminum head pins. Otherwise, the plastic would melt. Yep. And we just, we actually picked these up at staples.com. Yep, I did. In the cheapest place. They're just aluminum push pins. Yep. Right there. Got a hundred of them. There you go. It is. Hmm? Oh, it says 10.35. There, it's only Ooh. 8.04 here. Wow. How can it be that big of a minute difference? That's sub pump. Yep. Sub pump. Yeah, because I think I pulled in the driveway at 704. I think I've only been here an hour. Yeah, it's 5, it's 805. Well, well he's here. in Canada. Mary's got 806. How do you got 806, Mary? We're not on your time. 
Nine oh six. Okay, that's what I thought. Yeah. Lily, your clocks are fast. No, oh, she's on the time zone. Huh? She's cheating. She sets her clocks fast. That way she gets her on time or Me early. too. Oh. 30 minutes early. <laughs> there you go. I think Me about that. Me too. Mine are set 30 minutes ahead. Yeah, I also have the tendency to uh, be late sometimes. Or sometimes? Two more years. And then I am. Okay. All right. Got the front side done. I got my nine year anniversary at work this month. I'm going to let it cool down for a minute before I touch it because it's going to be hot. Here, let me fix that. How many years did you have on the place before that? Like Orchard? Like something like that? Wow. Mm hmm. Okay. Flip this sucker over. Solder out of there. Oh, wow, well, they said they are the first in North America to see the sunrise. Oh, wow. Yep, because they're, they're in Newfoundland, so that's Newfoundland. I guess. Wow. Say that, yeah. Isn't that where Dr. Pohl's from? Um, no, he's from uh, Netherlands? The Netherlands, yes. Who's that? Dr. Pohl. He's originally from the Netherlands. Yeah, but he's over. He's in uh, Michigan. Michigan. Yeah. Yeah. You need to visit Newfoundland. I think isn't it? It's an island, I believe. Or a. Yeah, I think I think it's like an island, or it's a province of Canada. I think. I'm not up on my. Areas of Canada. I do know where Ontario is. <laughs> Been to Ontario before. Ah, uh, Lily's in most eastern point. Uh huh. Yep. Yeah. I'd love to see that area, Nova Scotia, and and uh, and uh, Prince Edward Island. I you know love to see that area. And Newfoundland would be neat to see. New Zealand, we had was never that big. Huh? Well, yes, they were. The seniors were. Really? Yep. She, you know, she's not, she, she just turned, a, she'll be a senior in November. Oh, wow. So that's why she told me to just grade her in December. Yep. Well, so I have to grade her for 6th, 8th in December. Not the thought of having January babies is not my cup of tea. Oh, yeah. Then you have to get bigger cage. I have bigger ones up in the loft. Ah. Yeah, because they had, she had, you had New Zealand, red New Zealand's before. Yeah. yeah. I got the 36 inch up in the loft. Uh-huh. There is, I have a 30 by 30 to put her in. I'm just going to move a rabbit over to a small cage. I'm just tinning right now the outside edges. You just take the solder and tin them. Oh, Lily really says so they are in a uh, Providence, an island surrounded island. by water. Yes, I thought so. They're their own Providence. Yeah, that's right. Gee, proud of you, Jan, because I sure the heck wouldn't know the answer to that. <laughs> <laughs> I'm trying to remember my geography. I love maps and geography, though, so I'm, lucky I'm to, kind of a nerd when it comes to maps. I'm lucky to find some place in Indiana. <laughs> I can now only because I have OnStar. Uh-huh. <laughs> I'm not um, good with directions either. I'm the navigator. Oh, so you're going down the road and tell me you turn east. And I'm like, nope. You tell me left or right. I'm not going east, west, or nothing. You tell me left or right. <laughs> left, right, or straight. And I don't know my... Well, direction. I can do east and west now because it's W uh, on my desk. Yeah, but you're cheating. Yeah, I, that's the only way I'd be able to do it. That's the only way I know how I, to do it. You put me out in the Wait. woods and tell me to find my way out? Nope, I can't do it. Mm -hmm. I think this is north and south this way, east and west. As long as I have a map. Uh, nope. Yeah. Uh, where yeah. I'm at on the map, I'm good. I can go north get is, about anywhere. It's our bedroom, so north will be. Okay. North is 
that way. That way, right? South is this way, okay. east, west. <laughs> Sun comes up over I there. Out of our, I had to picture what it looked like out our bedroom window. Because you know where the sun comes up. Oh, well, yeah, the driveway is right out here yeah, going this way. Going west. west. Yeah, the driveway goes east west. Okay, now I got to come up with where am I going to hang this thing? Hang it right between the top and the. Uh, right here? Or here? Between right there, I think right there. Either yes. one of the little sides, I can't see where you're pointing because your video is like. All right, lagging. let me hold this up now. This is I'm gonna go ahead and make my hanger. Some people use jump jump rings, but I'm gonna make my hanger. Put one on each side, <gasps> I took my I took my other stuff to mom's. What? My you other flowers. No, my jewelry pliers are over there, but no, my other tinned wire. Oh, that's all right. Use that one there. Sorry, pre-tinned. So is the one that I used down there, but... Yeah, pre-tinned copper wire right here. I gotta get my nippers. I'm always said, Becky's always, turn here, turn that way. Never left, right, east, or west. <laughs> <laughs> These are my jewelry pliers. Boy, they're getting rusty from being down here in the basement. That is not good. No, that's there's a lot of marks down here. In this there is. I need to get a dehumidifier down yeah, here. I have two down mine. I gotta get one. Sub pumps constantly. Yeah. Over yeah. There, so I have two. Good. These are Beadsmith jewelry pliers that I picked up at uh, Hobby Lobby. They got little increments on here, so you can make whatever size ring you want to. I'm gonna make. Make it on a seven. Okay, I don't think they can see you. Can see, can I don't see. know. Uh, my video is freaking like way behind yours. And we're going to roll it around like that. There's my hook. I'm going to cut it a little long because I'm going to bury it in the seam so it's stronger and can hold the weight. second delay or longer oh no i'm just now seeing you put the wire on your pliers yeah i noticed that when i put the rabbit away you were still having the rabbit on the table oh man okay Let's see okay i'm gonna hold this up i'm gonna put my glove on because i'm coming up on the part where i'm gonna bead the edge all the way around this sun catcher this is the back side of the glass so i'm gonna put the hanger on there that's what it looks like so far. Can you see through it? Don't know. Gotta get you there. Because I got you zoomed in. Okay. There it is. Zoom it out a little bit. Yep, yeah, you can see through it. I think that darker color looks okay. I think I'm going to also put a. Just a little piece of wire in here across. You reinforce it yeah, right there? Yeah, reinforce it a little bit. You gonna put it across or go down and then over to the angle? Hmm, I haven't decided that yet. Let's figure that out. Alright. We'll draw in two minutes. Anybody else want to get in on a drawing? Wow, that's fast. Yeah, you better get, you better figure out that. Yep. We're getting close. You got to patina it yet. Well, you want to wait till you're completely done with it? Uh, I don't know. Maybe. Okay, well. We, yeah, we that's don't what have I would to. do. All right. Well, it's your choice. Whenever you decide to give it away, we'll give it away. John Zancy. See, there's my little hook. Bent it around like that. I think we're gonna put it right in there. First, I'm gonna put some reinforcement in here. You have to cut a little bit of that off oh, there. Oh, Roy and Becky did say leaf. I did not see that, Roy. Oh, and Becky. yeah. Take a little oh, extra off there.
Yeah, I did not see it. Oh, he's even set it up there too. Sorry, I'm not paying attention. <laughs> John. I get going back up there. Thought I was paying attention. I missed their comment totally. Wow. Slacker. I, I, I am. That's unusual for me. There we go. All right, I'm gonna. Yeah. We got Mary Jones, Willie Collins, Marilyn, Vicky England, C. Uh, sure. There's some other tweezers there. there. These tweezers. I'm telling you, I think I know who Sherry Lamar is. Mm. You do, huh? Leanne S. Roy and Becky's. Mary Jones. I'm thinking it might be Raven's mom. Oh, yeah. <laughs> I think. I'm not sure, but I think. I never thought about that. Yeah, it probably is. Okay. I'm going to paint this thing. I'm going to set this right in there. You get this thing on last year going like three hours. I know. Well, it's a start to finish project. This one here is. The next one won't be. No. That's all right. We'll do another one. We'll do a quick video on how to do it this way. Like we did on a stained glass monitor. that this is going to reinforce that stem it got that's too hot it. that's what happens it'll run that way it don't break off there that's... just make sure it's completely embedded in that stem i did find out what color that glass was though yeah that that's good to know I didn't think I'd find it. I was like, man, that's like a needle in a haystack. Mm hmm. I found it though. Yep. And now we know what color it is because I do like that color. Yeah. Adds a little bit of extra solder there, but it's worth it just so that doesn't break off that stem. I have one upstairs. Actually, the one that's upstairs that we took the picture of. The stem has actually broke off that. I glued it with E6000 back on because that's the one Dustin made with my mom for 4-H one year. Mm -hmm. He entered it in the fair in 4-H in miscellaneous craft. All right, I'm going to figure out where I want to hang this at. I'm going to take a look real quick. Top and one of the sides. There, maybe. Or way. here, maybe. And on either side. Oh, that'd be pretty. Yeah. Hanged it. Well, stick that in there. Yeah, because it don't tell you on the pattern which way to hang it. Nope, you can pick whatever way you want to. And if you want to hang it straight from the top, very tip top, you could, because there is a seam up there. Well, yeah. It's not pretty that way, though. No. no. You want it to hang that like at an angle. Did that dog on it? <laughs> Got it all lined up to go, and then did that. Nope. Want to drop it? Yep. And I don't want to touch it because it's really, really hot. Well, I guess try to use the tweezers instead of needle nose. Yeah, I probably should use the needle nose. Yeah, more area to grab onto the needle nose. Hot. 
talk on it. <laughs> Not hot anymore. Like oh, I flipped it the wrong way. I am having a little bit of a problem today. Here. Sometimes you wish you had a third hand. I hate putting rings on. You know, every time I try to hold the rings for you, you yell at me because I'm not holding it where you want it. Come on. That's why mom says hang your arm off the side of the table when you're putting rings on. There it goes. Pop that down onto that flat. And then you can take, once you get that flat on the seam, then you can take your solder. And go back over that. Oops, ran it through. It must be getting too hot. Yep, blow it out. Spider. <laughs> it's Halloween time. Yep. I do want to bug bomb this basement and end the whole house before it snows. <laughs> it's on the agenda. We should have had bug bomb earlier, man. We come back from getting that glass and left. Oh my gosh. First is fine. We come back. Freaking. Flying, flying ants, ants hatched, hatched out. out went everywhere we just out. in the space yeah, yeah right on the porch underneath the front porch they, they came out bug spray went out there and freaking sprayed them all down yep it was bad they're everywhere there's little fruit flies in my kitchen and i can't figure out why oh we got them too uh oh. we got tomatoes and was, pawpaws i was trying to eat lunch at work today and i had four of them flying in my face all right now i'm going to show you why i always wear gloves on this part because Solder can roll off this when you bead. Because after this, you still have more copper foil in here and you have to bead solder up. Tin it and bead it. Just to make it stronger. I just usually go ahead and flux the whole darn thing. All at once, kinda. Because the solder's gonna run. That is a really pretty loop. It is. It's, it's one of my favorite little easy sun catchers. I'm going to do here. So I'm going to run that here. Because I'm going to have to pick up pieces of solder and put them on here. You know what? Like 25, 30 bucks plus shipping if anybody wants one. They're 20. 20? Yep. 20 plus shipping. I was going to buy like three bucks a piece, a hundred pieces there. That's twenty-one dollars. So yeah, that'd be about twenty bucks. That should be. Ooh. You can make a bunch of them there for next year when you go to Scarecrow Fest if you ever do. We should. I want to see how the birding festival goes. Yeah, you ain't gonna do the birding festival. You don't get to make them stuff for the birding festival. It'll be here for you know it. Yeah. What festival? The birding. The birding festival. The birding festival. Yeah, when is that? Uh, May. Hmm. I think it's May. Beginning of May. But you gotta try to bead this solder up on here and... There's a lot of work in, in stained glass. A lot of tedious work. Don't, it just, it's a labor of love for sure. Gotta really enjoy doing it. I saw your rabbit panel, that thing turned out beautiful. Oh, for the Dutch specialty? Yeah. Yeah, that's coming up too. It's over in Ohio. That's coming up. Already somebody asked me about 
possibly doing a panel for them but with uh, different rabbits. They want a Flemish, a, a ruby eye white Flemish giant, a broken tricolor pollen lock, mm, mm, and a steel, broken steel gray, I think, mini lock. That's a lot of work. It was a youth for a youth exhibitor. I think mom wants to get it for her daughter for her birthday or Christmas or something. I think it's birthday because it's after. She's like, I gotta save up because it's after Christmas. <laughs> yeah, they're not cheap. Panels are expensive. I actually cut the a pretty good chunk off the price of their panel for the Dutch specialty. Because Lonnie Harper has ordered from me before, so for Dutch nationals and stuff. This is tedious, I know. <laughs> People are like, this is so boring. <laughs> Like watching paint dry. <laughs> this is what it is, start to finish, though. Yeah, we have one of our friends, you fellow YouTuber. Huh? You draw us a draw a picture of us. Yeah. Oh for yeah. Our, for our shirts, we're gonna put on our shirts. Yes. Ask, I'm gonna ask you. Now, did I trip over a root or did she push me? <laughs> <laughs> With that look on her face, I think she pushed you. That's what, every, that's what everybody says. Everybody thinks I'm evil. Everybody says, no, I think she pushed you. <laughs> we're going to put on her our YouTube name and then we're going to put on her. And then she's smirking about it. Yeah. Mm -hmm. That's too cute. It looks like a little swoosh where she brought her hand back. Uh huh. We're going to put on our, keep your feet on the trail and watch out for them roots. He's supposed to be tripping over a root there. Yeah. Well, he is because he's got his foot right there. Yeah. I like how it turned out. It's pretty cute. you got to have a monarch butterfly because it's adventures in the heart. Yeah. Right <laughs> That's too cute. <clears throat> very, very nice. Very nice. That's yeah, that, see that drip right there? That is why I wear gloves when I do this, because I'm holding this thing. You do not want that hot sutter to touch your skin at any point in time. It, it's Man. hot, and it will burn the crud out of you. And you know that by experience? Yep, I sure do. Uh, Leanne S. said, I have just started taking stained glass class, and I have learned... So much watching your leaf class. Oh, awesome. I'm so glad. Yeah, that's what we do it that's for. Why that's why I'm doing this. Yep. Yeah. That's why you do it. I know it's she, not She don't give herself enough credit. But. No. I've been doing stained glass. I started out with my first little tiny four-piece Christmas tree. Yeah. And I did some gifts for some people at work. They're just little, really simple ornaments. God, that's been like... Eight, nine years ago now. Yeah, it's been a while. Yeah, my mom taught me. Probably longer than that. Because she took classes down at Kokomo so and in Madison, Ras Indiana. We've had Rasco for seven years. I know. So I've been doing this for a while now. Right, 10, 12 years. Yep. So I started out just doing really simple things. And over the years. And you mainly self-taught, too. Um, yeah, I've... I've Except for your mom teaching you, but... Yeah, and I've watched other people, and Karen has helped me down at mm -hmm. Kokomo. My Karen mom's taken... Very helpful. My mom's taken class, a class from Karen. Mary said her shirt will be there on the 11th. Awesome. Cool. I want to see a picture of it when you get it, Mary. I got it. <laughs> I'm hoping it's nice. Because it's Teespring. <laughs> yeah, I hope it's nice too because we're getting it through Teesprings and we've never dealt with them before. I've heard good things and bad things, so I'm hoping it's good for us. Yep, and each, each Thursday night, the last class we do will be something different. 
Yep. Different glass piece. It might talk about drawing or drawing or making, How creating make your own pattern. pattern. From a picture or because you're really good at that. That would be cool to see. She's she's good at it. That'd be cool to see. I don't know if she really wants to give her secrets out. I can but... I don't know, I can do that. Hey, that's your choice. There's a certain amount of uh talent involved in that. <laughs> I gotta say, there's a certain amount of, of skill in that. Yeah. You have to be fairly good at drawing. You gotta be able to see it to do it. And you have to be able to know, you have to think ahead. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. You gotta because be able to see it in order to do it. I couldn't do it. You gotta know where to put seams. Yeah. And when you need to, I still have issues. Sometimes I have to add seams because yeah, the seams are. Throw your picture on a program and it does it for you. Yeah, and then I've had to modify patterns after the fact because stuff just doesn't work as good as I thought it would. Had to add seams in some places. We yeah, it's going to be Friday. We're going to try to do it every other Thursday. Every other Thursday. And it's always going to be at 6 o'clock, except for like tonight. I accidentally hit the button and went early. Like <laughs> He's like, oh shoot. After. I'm I still trying to get everything ready and the freaking things went live on me. I'm just cleaning up my joints so they look pretty. Yeah, she's um, very particular on I'm her. I'm very particular on my yeah, joints and things like that. I don't like lumpy, bumpy solder lines and joints. She, and there's a bump there. I think she's too picky, but. Well, she wants her customers to come back too. Yeah. Yeah. And they do. Actually, I got to send an invoice out to that lady tonight, too. I told her I'd do it when I yeah. got home from work. I'm just going to clean it up a little bit. I just want it to look real nice, especially the front side. The back side, not as particular. You know, if you have a few lumps and bumps in the back, that's okay. But I usually try to clean up the, the solder joints. You're going to have some lumps and bumps on where you embedded. You can see in here where I've embedded this hanger. That's going to keep it from pulling away because if you just put a jump ring on there a lot of times over time the this, this foil will unstick and it'll pull right away because all that weight's hanging on that so if you embed it down in here that solder will help hold that and not all the weight will be on this edge it'll be down in the seam itself but the, and reinforcing always a good thing especially when you have pieces hanging off like that I got a bump there. I need to fix that. There. You might feel more bumps and sharp edges once you work it too. Yeah, sometimes you I do. Where you don't anymore, but and I have to come back to the table and, and smooth out. Or I felt the other day I found a um I found a, a bubble that had popped up in the solder and left a hole, and I didn't find it till after I washed it. I was like, doggone it, and it was on a panel of all things. It's like, darn it. I should hit that again, but I think I'm going to leave that there. Now, some people like to do decorative solder, and they'll stick, after they do their solder lines, they'll actually lay beads of solder down on the lines and do some decorative soldering. I don't do a lot of that because I like my nice, smooth lines. But it is neat, and in some instances, it really adds to a, a stained glass piece. Yeah, it depends on what you're mm -hmm. what you're working with. Yep. But there we go. That's all. All oh, that's all done. Now I have to scrub it down. Now I want. I just wash mine uh, in warm water and Dawn dish soap. And to, I have to get all this flux off of there, especially paste flux. Flux. It seems like it's harder to get paste flux off than it is liquid flux. <clears throat> but you want to make sure that it cools down before you do that. But I do use warm water and Dawn when I wash it to get the flux off. And then you can use flux remover, but I don't. I usually use a patina cleaner afterwards. I usually use Dawn and just patina cleaner. It's almost cool enough to wash. I use a so really soft scrub brush to get down in these joint and all along the solder edges and in the joints. Um, to get all that flux out of there. Otherwise, it'll leave a residue after you patina. And the patina also also will work better if you 
scrub that out of there first. All right, get to scrubbing. Okay. It gets cold enough. <laughs> if it's if it's cooled off. Yeah, it's gotta, you gotta be let cool. it cool off. Though. I'm just kind of going over this to make sure I don't have any big yeah. bumps. You like to sit and chit chat. You gotta keep it moving. Yep. All right, I'm gonna go wash this off. I'll be right back. <laughs> oh man. I don't have any hot water down here, so I'm gonna do it upstairs. Oh yeah, that's right. I, got, I, I need a new hot water time. faucet, John. <laughs> I'll be right back. Got so crap to do. I'm gonna cut this hot water heater up so I can get in out of here. Too damn on heavy to try to pull it out. Oh yeah. Saw off. Yeah. Neither that or I got a cutting, cutting wheel up there on my. You got a cutting saw up there. Or a cutting wheel. Ew. Just gotta be careful because on the gas lines, we still have a little gas in them. Yeah. They've been sitting there so long, but still gotta be careful with it. No guy and burned up on him. He had it sitting for five years. No, it's still bad. No really? Life. Wow. So, gotta be careful. I had a good dolly to put it on and strap it down good. A couple people would help me get it out of here. That sucker's heavy because it's full of dang on whatever that crud is. and Shale. Yeah, after a while. Rook. Yeah. That's a heavy one. Yeah, we used to have one like that. <sighs> Hello, funeral host. We're doing good Some tonight. Give you ideas on how to get a hot water meter out of your basement. Mm hmm. It's just a dolly I got. It ain't, it ain't very sturdy dolly. Well, she's up for a washing it, then she's gonna patina it, and we're gonna give it away. So if anybody else wants to get in a drawing, put that word leaf in there. You gotta be present to win it. Get monetized, she's gonna give away a uh, custom stained glass piece. You know, sometimes if you find some scrap iron people, they'll come down and get it out of Facebook for you. I didn't think about that. Well, I was going to take it up there and take it to scrap myself, but heck, <laughs> you can get somebody to come down here and take it out of here for scrapping themselves. I'll do that. I know. Free. Just haul it out of here. <laughs> huh? It's free. Oh, haul yeah. it out. Oh, yeah. It's free. I know. Okay. All right. I'm going to set this. I turn off. Oh, I'm going to clean off my area over here. Turn Make off sure the soldering you know. iron. I don't have any lumpy bumpies no on it. Bumpies? Okay. I'm going to move. Put all my stuff away really quick. Funeral host is in here. Hey, funeral host. Put these away. Robert Rockwell, welcome. Anybody else want to get in? Just type the word leaf in the chat so I can throw yep. you in on the wheel. On the wheel. For the giveaway. Yeah, to give it away. All right, I'm gonna bring this over here. We're gonna patina this cute little leaf. Mm -hmm. Silver right now, but it's gonna be black in just a few seconds. Patina. This is like the most satisfying thing we'll have. This patina. <laughs> it's just automatically. It's neat to see the chemical reaction. Wow, I'm getting low on sound. What the heck is that? A jet going over. A small jet. Going in the airport. I don't know what that was. <laughs> so like a car was in the backyard or so something. Patina for black solder. Or black patina for solder. For lead solder, sorry. Gosh, wake up Jan. <laughs> Getting tired. Yeah, we usually work at the farm. That's why we're Farmstead Glass Creations. Robert, Robert Rockwell in there. Okay. 
Get them in the wheel. Get her. Get them in the wheel. You might need to tell them because they might not be hearing me from over here. Oh yeah, oh, John's funeral. putting you on the wheel. <clears throat> funeral host too. Funeral host and Robert Rockwell. Robert Rockwell and funeral host. See how quick that turns up nice and black. I'm not going to polish this tonight because I want it to darken overnight and let it sit. So we're just about done. I'm going to make sure I get all these little cracks and crevices in here. Okay. Can you see it turn black? Do you see it? <coughs> Pretty much. Okay. Pretty close. Just patinating the solder. Some people like their stuff silver. I think it looks better with the black. I don't know. I just I, it doesn't look finished in, to me until it's black or copper. Some people like it to use the copper patina. And I did get the edge off that one. I'm going to take the X-Acto knife and clip that. I didn't get all that edge off of there where I hit that that uh, foil. Earlier I had a, uh, just to keep it from cracking and having to fix it later, I stuck a piece of foil in a little curve. And there is a little tiny coppery edge sticking out of there. Oh no, I'm not seeing it. Where'd it go? Oh, maybe not. Maybe I just didn't hit it with the patina enough. Okay. All right, now that it's all patinaed, I'm gonna go wash it in the sink over here. I have patina cleaner and I use cold as cold as you can yeah, get it. Cold, water for cold, cold water to rinse, patina to off. rinse off the patina. It seems like the <laughs> using the warm water, we have softened water. It kind of want wants to leave a residue, and sometimes the solder turns white. Yeah, it does. Actually Some people turn. say they didn't get all the flux off there, but I mean, I scrub, 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 and I had it turned white. And so, my, in my experience, the best thing to do is run it in cold under cold water. Mm -hmm. I'm gonna run over here to the sink. Wash it off. Yeah, take your time, don't scrub it. Nope, <laughs> that would be bad. Okay, well, you gotta do it again. Again, just a scrub brush. Oh, they can hear me. Probably not. I got my patina my cleaner and a spray bottle. You wanna bring them over here, John, you can. Nobody wants to see that dirty sink. <laughs> Why don't you put the other sink up when you fix them? Yeah, you gotta sit Top water, water and water. Mm -hmm. I got that new sink over there to put in. I really don't want to do it, but I just gotta make myself do it. <laughs> I know. I still ain't put that one up yet. The honey do list. That one small one we put up there? I got that big one at the same time, still ain't got it put up yet. Everybody's seeing a yucky box. <laughs> Everyone wants to know if it's like a like a chemical or acid. This it is a, is a chemical reaction. Um, this patina. What does it say? It doesn't say what's in it. I think this comes from Vancouver, Canada. Canada. This patina. Contains nitric acid and selenium compounds. So it's a it's an it is an acid. It doesn't etch it. It just is a chemical reaction with it. Move this out of the way. So I'm not seeing that ugly looking thing. 
Mm -hmm. The camera. Just drying it off. Yeah. Look at how beautiful it is. You hang it right like that, and you got a lovely fall leaf. You can't see it. No? What the heck? Here. There. Because uh, I got you zoomed in. Okay. There you go. Now you can see Look it. How pretty. It's hanging from the hanger. Let's take it over the light box. We can see it on the light. See it on the light box. Yep. All right here. Let me move this over. Bring it on over. And that's it right there. I will polish it. And set it on the light box. That's my black baroque piece. Okay, there we go. Let's turn you guys around here so you can see it on the light box. Whoa, we're spinning. There you go. No. I think all we've got to look though because I'll get cut and not even know it. There it is. Yeah, you might want to lift it up and over. You know, the light don't. No. Camera don't do it justice, justice anyway. Justice, no. But that's the light on the light box yep. there. Very pretty. Turned out nice. Yeah, it'll hang like this from here. Yep. In your window. All right. Well, people been waiting. Yep. It's time for the drawing. Give it away. <laughs> See who's going to win it. Winner, 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 winner. I'm going to go ahead and set this over here so that it's <clears throat> Okay, so pretty. Let me drop you guys down a little bit. I was a little concerned about how light the top. Yeah, I know. It looks perfect. And I will polish that. I think it's perfect. Polish it tomorrow. That's pretty. Yeah. Okay. Trying to get you guys down at eye level. Polished in the morning. I like them to sit overnight with the. the I remember when Becky was like, You're a freaking artist. Uh -huh. This is an easy one. Anybody can make this one. Yeah, that one there is not too hard. All right. This is a great is there, project. Uh, there is no shuffle button. I thought there would be a shuffle button. There's not. No? Nope. Okay. So where's everybody's name? Hopefully everybody's on it. Everybody is here. Hopefully you want if you are interested in winning this. Let me see. I got here's who I got on it. Mary mm -hmm. Jones, Lily Collins, Marilyn, Vicki England C, Sherry Lamar, uh, Leanne, Roy and Becky, the funeral host, and Robert Rockwell. Okay. Anybody That's else Toby. in here want to get in on it? <laughs> funeral host is Toby. Yep. We're gonna spin the wheel. All right, we're gonna spin. We're gonna spin that wheel. <laughs> All right, here we go. Marilyn. Marilyn. Oh my gosh. That thing didn't spin very fast, no. did it? No. So right, you got you have to email us your address so we can ship this to you. Our email address is adventures. In Adventures in the Heartland at yahoo.com. It's all one word. If you're here, stay, Marilyn. say winner, or say something, say something that you're here. Yep, let us know you're here. Because otherwise, in a couple We're minutes. We're going to give you a couple minutes. Yep. Now, I'll draw again if they're not still here. She's been here most of the night, though. Mm -hmm. Yeah, she was the one that asked about what kind of glass that mm -hmm. was. Yeah. Yep. <laughs> Uh, where's the lid to this baby food jar? Oh, there it is. <laughs> yep, she said her. Hey! She said she will do. Okay, awesome. Congratulations. Yep. <laughs> yep, just email us at adventures in the heartland yahoo.com and we will get it out to you. I'll probably do one of the Christmas ornaments I do for, uh, well, I'm going to have to do something different because I already did a live or a, a video on that Christmas Yeah, you did the video on that one. So I'm going to have mm -hmm. to do something different than for Christmas time. 
I might do, maybe I'll do a pumpkin for the next one. <laughs> Yeah, Just a regular that would pumpkin. work for Thanksgiving. Yeah. yeah. Mm-hmm. Do one for Thanksgiving. Yeah. That that works. Just do a pumpkin. Mm-hmm. Hey, well, Everybody that's a big head pie. there. I don't know what well, I think I'm doing. I'm going to get a couple of them out there, and I'll have people vote. We'll put it in the community, <clears throat> the community area of our... Community tab. Yeah, How about community that? community tab. And uh, then they can vote on... I'll have two different ones, mm -hmm. and you guys can vote on the next one. Pumpkin would be cool. A pumpkin, maybe? Pumpkin or a roasted marshmallow. A roasted marshmallow. <laughs> Just a white piece of glass with brown on top. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, we could do a turkey feather. <laughs> we could do a turkey, turkey feather. feather. <laughs> turkey feather would work. You've feathers done feathers. Are not too bad. Feathers are pretty cool. Yep. You have to pick out the glass to make a turkey feather. That'd be kind of neat. We got an early morning. Thank you for the great evening. You're welcome, Lily. Thank you yeah, for coming thank in. Thank you so much, Lily, for coming in. Thank you, Leanne. Awesome. Yeah. <laughs> Looking for the next glass class. Awesome. I thought it would be kind it's of It's only our second one that we've been doing, so something different. Yeah. And a maple. The, the leaf was nice because the leaves are just starting to change here. Some yeah. of our nor northern friends, the leaks, mm -hmm. the leaves are almost at peak now. Yeah, Mine are falling though. Are they? Yeah. Huh. Mm -hmm. I mean, they're turning, oaks. but they're falling. Yeah. Especially the maples. Are you getting hmm. comments that I have not replied to? No, I do not. <laughs> I gotta get me some. Our monetization soda. says it's still in progress. Okay. Yep. We're still in progress. Yep. That's. Well, it mm. takes up to, up to a month to find out about Man, Rowan Vegas said so. it took them like two days. Oh, wow. That's awesome. Yeah. Mm. But they don't let you set up an AdSense account before, early anymore. No, not early anymore. No. They, we tried, and they wouldn't let us for monetization on YouTube. Hmm. That black broke. I've been seeing people making bat wings out of that. Oh, yeah. Yep. The what? That black, the yeah, black, the black bat wings. Yeah, they've been bat making wings. bat wings Where's out that? of it. Yeah, go? all right here. Right there. You, you can almost do a bat, you know? Yeah, mm -hmm. we could because it's Halloween. But it's just yeah. head. Yeah. With I, there's some easy bat ones out there. Look at that. That's yeah, there's a real easy bat one that yeah, you could do. Pretty. It's even like looks like it's textured almost. It is on the one side for the swirly area. That broke glass is not cheap. No, it's not. <laughs> That's not cheap. And you think it would be because all it is just a couple colors and they just barely mix it and run it through. I'll pay you, but can you do a Grinch face? Uh, yeah. We've already got a Grinch down. You've seen the Grinch. Oh, you've seen <laughs> the, the Grinch one, you? Yeah, the one we put in the fair. I didn't see it. You didn't get to see the Grinch? Oh, <gasps> oh my gosh. You're going to have to. Look at how pretty this blue is. That's crazy. I like this aqua. That'd be like mountains. Isn't that pretty? Yes. Or waterfall. Water. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Really pretty. Oh, go to our... Who makes this glass? Uh, this one here is Oceanside glass I'm holding here. Same as that black barrel. Yeah, we got we get them from different um, places. I've got another piece of glass that's really kind of cool. Where's that at? Hmm. That's Yogani. Mm, Turn the guys there. around here. Oh, I think it's over here. I'm just gonna go on here and look at my look at our uh, farmstead glass page real quick. See if I can find the Grinch. I know we put it up there. Yeah, this is pretty. That's pretty. That's Yogani. The back of it's really interesting. I want to do that one. I want to do that one. What did you find? That jack-o'-lantern skull. Oh, the jack-o'-lantern skull. That's, yeah, that's a little more advanced. I'm going to have to make that for you. There's too many little pieces. <laughs> and I'll cut. <clears throat> I want to see if I can find the Grinch. I know we put it up here. Um. Or did we not put it up there? I think so. Oh. It might be on your phone it and your picture. I still haven't put it up yet. Maybe. It was what back in August? Yeah. 
Let's see. There we go. Come on, internet, go. There you I'm go. I'm looking to see if I got it in here, which I may. There's a lion head design right there. Oh, and we, never have made we that. We never lion have head made that either. one yet either. Make that. I like he it. He wasn't real happy with something about the fluff on it. Yeah, who cares? <laughs> I was trying like to, a, I'm trying to make them as realistic as yeah, possible. Yeah, it looks realistic to me. I just haven't had a chance to make it. Yeah, I don't see the Grinch up here. I know, my God, I have a brick picture of that Grinch in here somewhere. Maybe it's on your phone. It ain't on my phone. No, I don't see the Grinch. Nope, I don't have it on my phone either. What the heck? Well, you know it's what? It's a cartoony looking Grinch, and it's the whole, it's his head and the whole body. Really? Mm-hmm. It's about that tall. I think you'd be happy with just the head. I can do just the face. Oh, let me look at our videos, because I know I'll it's... I'll have to draw up a pattern. I'll have to get a oh, photograph from okay. a yeah. Just a Christmas ornament, just a small one. Oh, a little one? Mm -hmm. Ooh, I don't know That'd if be it's difficult. small enough to go on a yeah, tree. Yeah, not to go on a tree. it's so detailed. Is it really? Yeah. Yeah. I mean, you'd have to... Well, maybe if you painted all the details on... Okay, I'm trying to... What was the name? Lake County Fair walked through and there we yep, go. Yeah, that's on that. <laughs> it is it's on, on our there. YouTube video. Actually, it is. I think. Yep. Did we go through there first? It was after the thunder and lightning. It was after that? Yeah, we didn't get to the building until after the thunder and lightning strike. Oh, okay. We literally walked out there and it literally was like... I know, I was in the rabbit farm. 10 foot from our yeah. car. Literally. That, that tree that yeah. went? Yeah. We were parked right across from it. Yeah. I was like, oh my gosh, we, yep. we dodged a bullet there. We, it didn't land on our car, thank goodness. It was... Oh, there it is. I just, just passed it. Oh. There it is. There it oh is. my God, how cute is that? <laughs> That is adorable. My niece drew that pattern. My little niece uh, not drew that. Oh, cool. That was the one that got uh, best uh, best of selection. Did somebody else do that? Selection? Yeah. It was a big uh, sun face. Oh, I like mm. Sorry, I got in the way. <laughs> yeah. There's a Grinch coming up. There he is. There he is. He's so cute. <laughs> Brittany was excited. I gave her the ribbon because she drew the pattern. Mm. She was excited. My 10-year-old niece drew the pattern. She's yeah. she's quite the little artist. Yeah. We had to help you know, clean it up a little bit on the with where the seams go, but she had that whole thing drawn out nice. Did your cups do anything? No. Nope. Nope. Really? Yeah, not at Didn't all. Didn't do a thing. I don't know what they look for in some of this stuff. Yeah, I know. Get some canned goods. <laughs> What's everybody saying? My sister and her friend made their first YouTube video today. They will be posting it soon. Awesome, Robert Rockwell. Awesome. Awesome. Yeah, it just turned 9 o'clock here, too, Timmy Timmy Ray. Yep. Yeah, I, I gotta get home. Yeah. My husband's gonna be hanging. <laughs> yep, and we gotta get off here anyway. Yep. Thank My you guys for coming hanging. into our first glass sure. class. Our second glass oh, no, class. Second glass class. Oh, this is our one. Oh, yeah. I'm just trying yeah. to sort by color. There you go. Let's talk to them. We're going to eat and drink. There we are. <laughs> Look at her. What's she doing there? Yeah, if you oh. want to see my race, go to my YouTube and, and show where you want to race. Yep. Yeah, we'll check we'll, it out. We'll check that out. Yeah, cool. we like racing. She looks like Cadbury Bunny. bunny. Look, it's going. Bark, 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 yeah, bark. it is. It's doing the Cadbury Bunny it's thing. It's doing the Cadbury Bunny thing. Check <laughs> them out. <laughs> Where's your Cadbury Bunny egg? <laughs> Down there, is that where your egg is? Take a trope. 
Maybe that's what we should name you is Cadbury. Cadbury. <laughs> <laughs> she looks that's like a Cadbury name you. Let's name you Cadbury. Aww. Okay, Marilyn, you too. Make sure you email us. Yep, email Adventures us in the Heartland at Yahoo.com. Send us your address so we can mail this out to you. Yeah. Hey, NTD. Hey, NTD. Nathan T. Nathan T. <laughs> that rabbit's like, what are you doing? Two whole decks and can get hurt. Sure. <laughs> All right, guys. Thanks for coming in. Thank you. She's like 11 See you next already. time. Have a great night. Have a great and night. And a great rest of your week. Yep. Sorry it was three hours and a <laughs> half. Next time it won't be as long. Thanks for coming in. Bye.